I tell everybody that I know, uh, well, not that I know, but that's that's interested in like game design to play Cookie Clicker because you will be shocked at how stupid that game is, but how easily it manages to hook into your little stupid lizard brain and yeah. fucking make you like it, even though you know it's dumb. Anyway, this is Vampire Survivors, a game that I've been playing. This is legitimately, it's been, it's been this and, uh, this and, like, Chivalry 2 have been all I've been playing for the last, like, month. Uh, and and honestly, it's mostly this, just because it's, like, such a perfect, like, zone out and, like, watch a thing kind of game. Like, it's a, it's a good, like, something to do with your hands kind of thing. Yeah. But uh, I genuinely love it. It's baby's first risk of rain, yeah. and uh, that's what's cool about it. I don't know what's going on with me either, like with games. But like, whenever it's like, when 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 they, there's like a lot of games that are like cheap, um, like baby versions. Yeah, this was three dollars. I I don't know if yeah. they raised the price on it. They said they were going to eventually. I don't know if they did yet or not, but. But but like that kind of trend of games has like really started to catch my attention, and I've just been like, I don't know why. Like like it, it they're just to me they're a lot more fun because they're a lot more like basic and like you don't have to go so hardcore on them. Like this game, it has a lot of like it's easy to play, and then it has a lot of depth, like surprising amount of depth to it. I, I was actually blown away by like a lot of the stuff. That... So I, I haven't beaten, I haven't gotten to level 99 with Arca, Porta, or Croce. So I'm going to do some stuff that I, I this guy's pretty good. Totally not, uh, totally not, what's his name, from uh, that thing, you know? None of these characters are Castlevania characters. If you say that they are, you're insane. Yeah. This is not Alucard, this is Arca, you fucking morons. None of those enemies, the enemies are from uh, Castlevania either. Especially not that skull that's facing one way and then another skull that's stacked on top of it facing the other way that shoots fireballs. That's not from Castlevania. It would never, ever, ever be. And if you no. think that it is... Man, oh, you got all the cards. I haven't actually collected a lot of the cards. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm collecting more of them. I'm working mm -hmm. on them. That's why I'm using this guy. Uh... So we played this on Oni Plays, and since then I've just almost exclusively played this game. Yeah. And you'll you'll even hear me on the episode. I'll, I'm like, this sucks. This is lame. And then by the end yeah. of it, I'm like, kind of liking it. And since then, I've just I'm fucking... editing that episode. And there's a point in that where like you're like really quiet. Where I flip over. No, you're, where you're quiet. And then Chris goes. Are you liking the like? Like you see what we mean now, Lyle? And then you go, yeah, I kind of I, <laughs> like. I, I like the game. <laughs> that was, yeah. Let's see. I don't. I don't. Uh, I'll do more fire wand. You want to be the cats, man? You get the cats. The cats are really good. The cat. Yeah. You like the cats? I don't like. No, the cats. I hate. I hate the cat. I don't. I don't Wait. understand the cat. Why you know, in the you world know, actually, would you recommend me? I've actually me? found the easiest way uh, to actually grind levels up is to play on level two. Level one, like the enemy density is really fast. So like, I'll show you a bullshit run after this one. I will, I will directly go for like the most bullshit run I possibly can, and you'll see. Yeah, you will see, Kyle. Damn, you got like, yeah. So you, you must have like almost all the upgrade. Is that like, or is that card doing that with the fire? Uh, I got a card that does that, and then I got an item yeah. called duplicator, which duplicates the fire. Oh wow. Yeah. If oh, I, oh, you you picked up a duplicator. Okay. Yeah, this game is so dumb, but yeah. it's so good, and you will see. By the end of this run, you'll be like, wow, that really escalated. You'll you'll be saying, erm, that escalated quickly. I will say- I'll do the garlic, because the garlic's bullshit. I, I didn't- I, I did see- I, I did watch you play this game, um, like, like you streamed it over Discord one time while we were all hanging out. And uh, I didn't get it when you did that. Like, like, I was watching. I was like, I didn't. Like, I think you have to kind of play it to kind of get, like, how much fun it is. It's really weird. It's really good though. You doubted. You were a yeah. doubting Thomas. You were a doubting Kyle. I was a doubting Daniel. Yeah. Yeah. You were a doubting Daniel Day Lewis, and you said, yeah. "I will." I doubt that I'm Daniel Day Lewis right now. I think that I'm actually correct. And then I looked in the mirror. And there, there he was. There he was, Daniel Day-Lewis himself. 
Yeah. You picked you off like your face ring? like in Poltergeist. Uh, it scales off Duplicator, so... I don't yeah, know, I'm going for kind of a weird build, because I was gonna go for a bullshit one the next game. Yeah. Although Garlic is a, a bullshit item. Garlic's really good early, especially, because it just puts this field around you that kills enemies. Yeah. And it does, but, it does fall off a little bit later down the line. But yeah. early on, you can just smoke all these fucking weaker enemies yeah. and get like all these like so collecting those yeah, you, little coin you things just walk gives me that wave of like yeah, that stuff. Yeah, it gives me experience, and then I can uh, I can just see yeah, see I, how how badly I'm messing them up because they're they're these little guys that die in one hit. Later on, it doesn't do all that much damage. No, nah. well later on, if you flip it, it turns into like more of a healing item. My, my favorite item in the game is the guns. I think that's the best one. Yeah, I'll go for the guns. Yeah, you have to get, but it, it just requires a lot of commitment to get all to get the guns leveled up. But like, I'll be able to do it, no problem, Kyle. Cool you haven't is, seen fucking pro level gameplay. But the, the cool thing about the guns that I like is that once they combine uh, into like the uh, the the ultimate gun, you it it takes up only one slot instead of two, so. The ultimate gun is the one in your hands, Kyle. That's yeah. what I always say. <laughs> Did I tell you that conversation? I was having, I had a conversation with one of my friends, and I was just, just like, "That is the like, like, you ever have like a friend who has like a like a take, and you're just like, come on, man, like really think about what you just said, and then they double down. It, it, it's just like it, I've never had a friend that does that, Kyle. No, no, you've never. Oh, okay, good. Uh, <laughs> then this will be a new experience for you. Uh, no, but, um... Hmm. Did you, wait, hang on, man. Did you start an ad, or did it just do that on? I didn't start an ad. Uh, I, it, I apparently, didn't... Twitch has been really bad for that. I didn't do it. Yeah, I fucking... That shit is so annoying now. Like, what, what they've been doing. Sorry, uh, back to what I was saying, though. Um, but, no, I, I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, and uh, we were, like... We were just like kind of hanging out, and and, and like a, a friend of mine was was saying something about how uh, a friend of ours got we play magic, and he got his card stolen out of his car. And I was just like, man, I keep telling people, do not leave your fucking like, because people will leave like their ten thousand dollar ma magic collection in the trunk of their car. I'm like, I keep, I was like, I keep telling people, just never do that. It's so stupid. Like someone's gonna break in, like they just break one lock, and they have ten thousand dollars, you know? Yeah. And like, and. And then my one of my friends is like, or people could just stop being shitty and taking stuff. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, you're not gonna stop people from steal. Like, you want to stop? E okay, so your goal is to e to stop everyone from stealing, so you don't have to take your shit out of your car. That's so stupid. I don't know. It's just such a. It, it bothered me how dumb that take was. Where I'm just like, you're never gonna stop people from stealing. Even if we lived in a complete utopia, like people are still gonna steal shit. People like, get sexual rushes from stealing. They would steal even if there was, e even if they had like unlimited money, there'd be at least a few fucking creepo weirdos that just get horny when they steal, and then they'd be like, mm, "This is a horniness theft," and they'd steal your shit out of horniness, and then all your fucking magic cards would get horny stolen. <laughs> You're right. That's exactly what I was thinking. I told my friend, I was like, "Man." Man, stealing makes me horny. You think if it makes me horny, I'm just gonna, you're gonna yeah, stop Yeah, you don't me? get horny from anything, but stealing yeah, even but stealing. does that for you, so... Yeah. It's crazy. There's, there's, there's a critical problem in this world with things that make us horny that are bad for us. It's just true, bad yeah. for other people in general. It's, that's... That's one of the reasons that the Japanese, they, they basically they have porn and billboard ads and stuff like that, because if, if everyone's horny all the time, then no one is horny. And then no one steals. They have a really low crime rate. Exactly. That's what yeah. I keep saying. Yeah. Just, yeah, plaster. <laughs> that, that'd yeah. be better than those, like, anti-smoking ads and all that shit. Just put, put porn in the bus stops, and then nothing bad will ever happen in society yeah. ever again. See, when all you people are upset when they put big titties, anime characters, and video games, you're actually contributing to the downfall of society. Yeah, you're contributing yeah. to the crime rate. Yeah, you're wondering why the crime rate's so high is because it's because no one's allowed to look at titties anymore. Exactly. See, yeah. this man understands the state of society. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't know. I, it was just like it, it, it just it, it makes it always makes me think. It's like when people have they're like, well, maybe people should like like everyone should change, but me. It's just like, yeah. I mean, 
true, in a perfect world, that would happen, but, like, the fact that people were, like, getting their hands cut off, like, back in the day for stealing and still doing it. And still it, did it, yeah. Yeah, it's like... Yeah. That's why they cut off their hands, though, so they can't jack off. Yeah, exactly, they can't yeah. jack off or steal, because they knew, yeah. they knew that the jacking off was causing the stealing. Yeah. And vice versa. Advice it's a first. vicious cycle, really. You jack off, and yeah. then you steal, and then you steal. It's like it's like a fat bastard always says, "I jack yeah. off because I steal, and I steal because I jack off." Yeah, I mean the idea is like kind of foolproof, right? You jack off, you get cum on your hand, and then you touch the thing with your cum hand, and then yeah, nobody and it wants sticks it. to it. Yeah, yeah. You can it's like, sticky. well, yeah, it, it serves multiple purposes. It's sticky, so that, that's where the term "sticky fingers" comes from. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's yeah. like you can you can jack off, put your cum hand against a piece of glass. Use your yeah. jack-off knife to cut a hole in the, the glass. <laughs> and then just pu simply pull away. <laughs> and then once you touch- and then once you touch the- the valuable art piece that you've just taken out, uh... Taken out of the- uh, out of the Louvre, uh, they don't want it anymore, cause like, ew, it's got cum on it. Yeah, I don't like, want that it's anymore. like licking it as a piece of yeah. food, you know? Like, if you get cum on it, then... <laughs> no- no gives these backsies. Yeah. You say you you look him in the eye and give him a wry smile and you say come and get it. And then you and then, <laughs> and then you, then you get away. arrested for stealing yeah. the fucking Mona Lisa. <laughs> Do you see that guy fucking slipped and got cake on it? Dude, that shit is so funny. Like I I've always thought that bitch needed some cake on her. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I, I I the um what was it? The fucking the the amount of the the thing I always think about like with the, like old art pieces like that is like how like protected they are and like how much security is around them and it's like what it really comes down to is that it's a really good drawing you know like the, the fact not that, like, anymore you've seen what AI's been doing Mona Lisa ain't shit yeah but there's a lot of shit where I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm just like man like that it was a joke by the way I fucking <laughs> AI art's weird and creepy but uh, yeah yeah. But, uh, the, well, I just, I just mean, like, no, not to get too morbid, but, like, you know, like, even the stuff we make, like, I, I don't know if I want to call it the stuff we make art, but I, I guess technically we are artists, where it's, like, once we... M my brush is cum jokes. Yeah, our precious cum jokes, like, just, just once we perish and shit, and we're not gonna be here anymore, like, how long do you think, like, the staying power of our shit is? It's probably not very long. Pre-game discharge? Like, probably not very, very long, because no, it's, no. it's a news show, but I mean, like, I don't discharge, know. I mean, like, these old streams, like, and, and the stuff we make is, like, comedies, like, I think that this too. is gonna be, people are gonna be watching this particular stream 896 years from now. It's very possible that that happens, but... If you're watching... In it's the year be, fucking, I don't know what the loop. math is on that, the year 29 yeah. fucking, uh, I, I think I fucked it. No, no, it would be 29, I don't even remember what number I said. If you're watching this sometime in the fucking 2900s, let me know, leave a shout out, yeah. leave a leave a like and subscribe. Yeah, is that a still like. a thing that you do? Plug us into your neural network, and download my entire personality into your brain, become, yeah. become me. And then download yeah. Kyle's entire personality into your brain and have him as those weird niggling thoughts in the back of your head that tell you to steal to give yourself a boner. There we go. I think we got it now. I think that's the that's the future of gaming right there. I think so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> all, all I mean is just like, it, you think about that and then you think about like, man, this is like a really good drawing and there's people like who who have like dedicated their lives to preserving and protecting it. Like hundreds of years after, and they, they still it. let Cake Dude get to it. And then so. the Cake Guy gets, and and then like it doesn't even matter though, because yeah, some guy, some asshole gets Cake on it. <laughs> I love that shit. I, I just some some part like like I I don't know. I, I I was thinking about that earlier today, where it's like, man, like oh fuck. Even if you're even if you're like a super popular like comedian or like actor, like you can't expect like the staying power of like what you're doing to like last super long. Comedy then, is yeah, a hard one. I think comedy is like yeah. one of the most time sensitive things you could possibly yeah. have because like half the shit that you say is going to be like observational about the topic of the day that's like, dude, if you did a bit about fucking televisions in the yeah. last 20 years, that bit's fucking irrelevant now. Yeah. 
The fact that, like, have you seen what's, like, go yeah, TV is, like, dying, like, really hard right now. And it's, it's, it's not even just that. Like, you think about the, the, like, what was considered, like, really, really sharp comedy back in the day. And it's, like, late night jokes where, like, the, the host would come out and pretend to golf for a second. <laughs> it's yeah. It's, like, yeah, it's, like, okay. Like, like, that, like, that was considered hilarious, and it's just, like, yeah, now... Like Abbott they, and Costello, like, the guy's name is who? Isn't that fucking hilarious? It's, like... Yeah, yeah. It's clever, it makes you smirk, but, like... Yeah, it's, it's, it's like... It's now, like, a fucking cutesy-poo dad joke, where at the time it was yeah. probably, like... They called the guy on first who? Holy <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Some guy's, like, pissing himself laughing in the crowd. Like, he can't believe they said that. And, 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 you know, now it's just like, man, if, if, you know, like, like the fact that, like, there's not really a winning formula like that for jokes anymore is, like, interesting, like, and cool, but at the same time, it's also kind of just like, I don't know, it's, it's a little bit, it, it's a little bit daunting to kind of think about. We're also in, like, a weird, like, post-humor, like, fucking, like, yeah. like, kid named Finger. Like that that shit, like it's yeah. just such a fucking weird mess. I also I also think See like Monica like, started laughing just hearing me say yeah. kid named Finger. Now that's why Monica needs to be protected. She is a rare gemstone because all these freaking these Well no, I just I mean it because there's there's so many people who are so critical of humor now. Like I th that that kind of annoys me where it's like people are just like we'll, we'll like I, I'm not gonna say I've never done it, but like, there's so many people who try to break down jokes and stuff like that to the extent where it, it, it's like, dude, it's just like, is it, if it's either funny or it isn't, just like, just say it's not that funny. Like, it, I don't know, like, let it go. <laughs> you don't like it, it's not for you. But there's some people who are just like, this isn't funny, and it's like, well, the show has like this many people watching it, like, somebody's finding it funny. It, it, it's stupid, but somebody finds it funny. That's true. Yeah, you know, you know, I, as much I as, know. as much as one would hate to admit it. Yeah. That's why you should give young. I, I've been telling you, Lyle, you gotta give young Sheldon a shot. I've never watched it, but you should. You keep saying that because you know yeah. I'll hate it, Kyle. You I know, know I'll hate it. Yeah, but it'll, but it'll be funny for me. That's. I guess that's, and that's the real comedy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So it, wait, okay, like that's a good that's a good philosophical question. If yeah. I watch Young Sheldon and hate it. And yeah. you watch me watching young Sheldon and think uh -huh. that that's hilarious. Does yeah. then, by proxy, does that then become a credit to the humor of young Sheldon that it can evoke, like, a second domino of humor on top I, of I'd it? Say, if I'd your say a little irony bit Family Guy like, posting is Family yeah. Guy, does it still get credit for those laughs? I don't know if the this show itself does, but like, I mean, I I don't know if I can say that because like, recently, I don't know if it's not not recently, recently, but like in the last like ten years or so, I've noticed like anti jokes becoming more of a thing. So it's like maybe. Guess that's yeah, yeah. It, They're just saying no. They're rejecting the premise no, outright. It, you're it, probably it, right. No, you're probably right. Like I I don't know. Ooh, that will yeah. improve my goon. I think someone in the chat did point something out. It's like it, sometimes something isn't funny because it's overdone. I agree with that because because there are these there are people that I've uh, I've spent time with that will tell a joke and it'll get a chuckle and then they will repeat that joke the rest of the night. Okay, and, you don't and I'll just fucking call me out like that, dude. Not you. <laughs> you're, you're, not, you're not really that bad with that. I'll, I'll point one out specifically. Uh, my uncle, love him to death, but the dude had this one time I was working uh, at an ad agency we were working on a uh, drought awareness campaign and, uh, and he thought the drought was so funny that he kept yeah, he pouring out water about it he yeah. kept pouring out water and saying oh fuck you guys drought drought yeah no that guy's a piece of shit talks him but he would run through the house start flipping up all the faucets and cackling and we were just like dude it's not that funny it was funny the first time you did it <laughs> sorry but, uh, go <laughs> <laughs> But I was telling him about how, like, we went to, like, a, there's, like, this uh, desalinization water treatment plant that's, like, we went to, and, and it's basically, like, they, they literally break water down to, like, the molecule, and, 
So I and I and I drank some, which is like it was just pure water, and it's like some of that water was like raw sewage before, and they turned it into like pure water. Oh, so you and did was, the and, Obama thing? Are you... Yeah. I, I don't know. Sorry, what I agreed to that without even knowing what that was. There, there was a point where Flint, Michigan, Obama went there and was like, "The water is cured," and he drank a glass of water, but it kind of wasn't. Oh no. I didn't hear about that. Yeah, and you just agreed to doing it, so. Oh no, no, yeah, but I, I, I but yeah, I, I, I drank some of the water. It was, it was, but he, but he said like toilet to tap, like he's like, oh, you know, like as a, as like a joke, and maybe like three people in the room kind of went, <laughs> and then he said toilet to tap maybe nine or ten times like throughout the rest of the conversation, and I just wanted, I just wanted to reach across the fucking table and slap him. You could like, have. He's your uncle. What's he gonna do? Like, I know. divorce your mother as his sister and then leave the country well, and he, change his name? Okay, he's my uncle. He's my uncle by marriage, not like my. Not oh yeah, my, no, uh, he he could actually yeah. genuinely divorce your aunt and fucking leave forever. Don't don't kick the hornet's nest on that one. I mean, I don't know. If he keeps telling jokes like that, maybe I'd be okay with it. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I mean, <laughs> I, I guess I guess kidding. that's a possibility. Ah, I'm fucking kidding. But it was just, yeah, it, it's, I, I, I don't know, I, 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 you, you've definitely had that where it's just like somebody like finally tells, you know, they've, they've told jokes and no one laughs and they finally tell like a good joke and they won't let it go. And it's just like, okay, man, like, I, yeah. But I mean, like, sometimes that works, man. I'm not going to lie, you know, lie. I've probably been that guy before. There's definitely, there's definitely times where it's like fucking... Someone will just be doing like a fucking like Peter Griffin impression at a party and it just kills oh all God, night. Oh my God, yeah. And you're just yeah. like, okay, well, I'm I'm in the room with this now, I suppose. Yeah. And I'm not going to be the dickhead that's like, that's not funny. You guys stop laughing this instant. But at the same yeah. time, it's just like, at fuck. the same time, you're thinking it like, just like, oh my God, can we, can we move the fuck on to something else? Yeah. I, yeah, I didn't think about that. The Peter Griffin guy is totally that. I don't know that that still happens, but it definitely did happen for a very oh, long no, time. Oh no, totally. There was that that joke that you made on stream that one time where you're like, "Hey, it's the funniest guy at the party doing a Peter Griffin voice." Like that, I I related to that heavily because I've been in that situation where like there's a guy doing a Peter Griffin voice and I'm on, I'm like very unhappy about it. But Kyle, everyone else loved it. Yeah. Do you think that guy like who's who's like famous for like cosplaying Peter Griffin is dead think, now? Like, is he dead? Y yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, you did. Okay, keep telling your joke, I guess, but <laughs> it's kind of insensitive at this point. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. This. <laughs> I mean, it's not gonna bring him back to life, so you might as well just tell your Yeah, you might as well grab. just go for it. Just yeah. spit on his grave. It's not like he can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like he'll be embarrassed about it anymore. He's dead. God damn it. No, he's alive and well, so whatever Kyle oh, says oh, next is... Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Oh, God. No, I was just saying, like, do you, do you think that that guy feels like... Like if he's at, no, do you think he gets he he's like tired of that now, or do you think he's just still like fine with it? Um, you, I I don't know, man. I mean, the novelty's got to wear off eventually, but I think yeah. I think a big part of like doing stuff like that and making it a career is like you can. I've def, I'm not saying I've never seen people that have like turned on basically what made them and been like I fucking hate this. I hate what I've become, but like. I don't know. I don't think that that's like super healthy. I think it's it's healthier to just yeah. be like, you know what? Fuck it. I love Family Guy. It, it made me. You yeah. Know, like. Yeah, and I, I mean, it's okay to be like, I don't know. It, I feel like it's 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 also okay to just like acknowledge like you know this is it, it maybe it turns from passion into like a job or something like that. I mean, it probably did for him at some point. And I think that like you know not everybody I don't know not everybody loves their job it's okay to just like your job yeah you know? at the same time yeah. like I think actively resenting your job or like I don't know trying to I, it kind of sucks you know yeah no I, it's I've definitely true. been I've definitely been the guy that's like mm, the second you show any genuine care or enjoyment <laughs> for something you're yeah. some kind of gay but like i i don't know like i i think it's definitely like i'm at a point now where it's like you know what like fuck it 
you know? Yeah. Just, just not, just try. Do your best yeah. to enjoy shit and just like when you don't just be like, man, you know, like, yeah, I, I think I, I think I, a I, lot of people get like too up in the fucking and, and and don't get me wrong. I fucking love a good old a good old fucking trashing. But at the end yeah. of the day, I would much rather enjoy something than like trash it. Yeah, if I can, there, there if I can, though, then, yeah. then I'll absolutely just fucking let loose and, you know. Yeah, but there's definitely a time in everybody's life where I think like they're hypercritical stuff and they're like that's so that's, that's you know you know this and that is gay and everything sucks this is stupid and like and like you know I, I mean I I say gay because like that was the go-to word in like the late 2000s um not so much anymore but uh it was it was like you know it, it's just like this it kind of it, it kind of devolved like at least for me into this thing where I was just like realizing that I, I was just being hypercritical of stuff that like. I think Pacific Rim was the movie that kind of like turned me around on that where I was just like, you know, this movie is not good, but it is fun and I do enjoy it. So it's like, you know what I mean? Like it's, it, I don't, I don't know like why, I, why I was, I was just like, why am I letting the fact that this is not like high art bother me, you know? Yeah. And it's just like, it, it, like, like either I like it or I don't. And if, if you know, so if you don't like it, it's fine. But at the same time, uh, it's not really meant for you to like look at like with a microscope and a lot of the time like now i watch stuff like that and i'm just like man this is, just feels pretentious now yeah you know it, it not 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 like it's it's bad it's like it is good but like some of the stuff is just like it, okay it's it's like really trying to be like proper like i hate like i used to i used to like a lot of movies that would be considered oscar bait and now i kind of like if i see that sort of shit it, it just bothers me like I don't know. Is it something about like this this idea that they're like they're definitely they're just like they're just making this movie to to get an Oscar? It, yeah, about that I think the me. other the other big realization I had about like a lot of things and production in general is a lot of the time yeah. it's just like this is the best we could do with like the time and the budget, and it's like I wish we could make it better, but like it's yeah. just got to be done, and that's that's where ninety nine percent of productions end is with that with yeah. this has just got to be good enough. You know, yeah, and that, yeah, that's it's sure. especially true with video games. It's kind of true with movies. Like it's just sometimes it's just like it's got to be good enough because you know this is what we have. This is the budget we got. This is you know yeah. the, the time frame we have. It's got to get yeah. finished. You know, and that that's yeah. sometimes I like mean, you can see some, that, and sometimes yeah. it's like oh man that sucks. And sometimes but, that happens, and it's like an accidental masterpiece because of it. I mean, like that's what happened with Melee. Yeah. It's what happened with Melee, uh, Majora's Mask, too. Yeah, Melee was made in, like, I think it was, like, under a year they made that game. And it's, like, if people are still playing that and, like, finding new shit to do in that. Like, that that's, like, how crazy that game is. And it's an under a year. Like, like, it's either under a year or under a year and a half. It was some ridiculous time frame for a game of, like, that kind of quality. And... I mean, Basically, a lot of what I'm is, saying is, if you don't make the best video game ever in under a yeah. year, you're just fucking lazy. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was saying too. Yeah, no. I, I, if you, yeah, don't get it twisted. If you can't make a, if you can't make a good video game, uh, in a cave with a bunch of scraps, then you're you're dead to me, and everybody else around you. Yeah. Yeah. So get get out of the cave if you can't handle the scraps. Yeah, that's that's what I say. <laughs> but I mean that but, said I'm playing honestly, I will say, I'm playing the game dumbest game made, in the world and I love it. I wonder if this game how long it took to make this game because I I would be wouldn't be surprised if it, it took under a year to make this game. I would guess 5 minutes and one guy made it by accident yeah. even. No, I mean it, Yeah. This game is surprisingly like I no, there's for a lot of depth too. I, to for some reason, now, I, yeah, I, yeah I, I follow those people on Twitter and they actually like they're very aware of like how their game looks like they'll be posting memes of like the fucking Rick yeah. and Morty like what is my purpose of with like the steam oh, deck yeah. and it's like you play vampire survivors oh my <laughs> god I mean that's the thing is like this one thing I did realize with this game it doesn't even like render characters off screen like as soon as you leave the screen those yeah they same cease characters... to be oh, no they, they don't cease to be they, re they they spawn them again in front of you so like they like the the idea, I guess, is like if you really had to think about the game literally, like they're running off screen, running all the way, around, like they're like cherry, was it was it the cherry, uh, the cherry picker line where they just like run all the way out in front of, like in front of you. It's really weird. I don't know. It's 
And it's honestly kind of cringe that you know that, dude. Yeah, it is. It's a little bit. kind of awkward. Like, you're obsessed, man. Yeah. Get a job. True. <laughs> God damn. Oh, young Crip. What's up, buddy? All right, bud. <clears throat> yeah, Donovan's been fucking playing this game, too. Okay, so it's not just me. No, this oh. game's great, because, okay, first of all, I... I I don't know what you guys think I'm doing, but, like, all of the fucking moves firing off are automatic. Like, all I'm doing yeah. is moving around. And you can yeah. use WASD, or you can use the arrow keys, so you can, like, switch hands, depending on what you're doing. So it's, like... <laughs> it's it's literally fucking so the brain dead, that you're but watching, it's... you're watching porn while playing this game. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I've done it. I'm not afraid to admit that I've done it. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't like like I'm having a really good run in Vampire Survivors, but I'm also horny. So I like watch porn jacket. To Sometimes game. you need the second wind. Uh, generate yeah. explosions when they expire. You know what? This is really the only one that's gonna help me. It's not ideal, but I'll take it. Oh, yeah, that's gonna this... make this fucking screen a mess. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what yeah. I just did, but I will say, say though, yeah, this game is pretty legit. This, oh shit, I, I haven't gotten some of these items that you're getting. Yeah, they're Easy. like evolved shit. Right now I'm going to get spinach. So hot tip, you can only hold a certain number of like yeah. primary weapons and a certain number of like secondary weapons, but five, five, five weapons and five enhancement items. Yeah, yeah, but if you look at my enhancement items, Kyle, look at my enhancement items right yeah, now. I, I, know, I have I know. seven. You did the trick. Yeah, so there's there's ones that are like on the map and if you if you fill up your inventory and then get them, you actually get an extra slot yeah. which is why i waited so long to get the spinach to improve my fireballs which i can do yeah because the spinach is on the map yeah so think about that yeah think about the spinach on the map before you run your fucking mouth okay that's what i always think yeah that's about those are the words i try to live yeah by. it's like the chips are down the spinach is on the map who do you want on your side right do you want the guy who knows how to use it or do you want the guy who rushes right in and fucking grabs it immediately yeah yeah, you you want you want Popeye. You don't want yeah. I don't know other character from that show. That I can't yeah, you don't want fucking Wimpy Sam or whatever his name is that orders the cheeseburgers and pays you back on Tuesday. Yeah, you look the, at you this is the, just pure this, dopamine right here. I know. When you get the five, that, that that like yeah, the, the five stack chest is pretty great. You're gonna get a lot of good shit. Oh, yeah. you gotta wait. Oh, okay, leveled up here. Look your, at this uh, shit. Look at this shit, you fucking Leveled bastard. Up your fireball. You yeah, fucking shit. son of a bitch. Look at what this. What is that, like, those weird, like, pink dust clouds you have coming up? I don't know what that is. Oh, that that's uh, one of the cards that I got. It makes uh, okay. it makes the uh, Bibles explode when they disappear. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, the the Bibles, I, I've always really liked. I just, like, once, like, getting, getting them all the way leveled up can be kind of hard, because they're not that good unless you... Get them all. They, they can be once you like get them like to where they're always spinning around you. But getting them there can, can be kind of hard. The Bibles are like one of the most overpowered weapons in the game, Kyle. Yeah, if you I can't agree. make good use you of can... the Bible, you're just not a good Christian, Kyle. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Now, my favorite is still the uh, erase everything uh, weapon. Oh, you the, get that the pentagram. One? I hate that thing before you upgrade it, though. I, yeah. I might, I might. What I usually do is I usually get a weapon like, uh, like the guns or the pigeons that kind of combine. I oh, hate the yes. pigeons. Look at this. I think dopamine. the pigeons is the worst. I think the pigeons is the worst in the game. Yeah, but opinion. I usually try to get something that'll like fill up all my slots, and then I get the the pentagram kind of late game. Yeah. I, I I was really annoyed with the pigeons though because I I tried to like make a. I was trying to get them for so long, it took forever, and I finally... Because it's like, they're not very good, so it's like, if you if you, if you you have two of them in your inventory, it kind of... Yeah, the pigeons are a lot of work, but... Yeah, and then, what, then like, the ultimate form is, is like, kind of dog shit. It's, like, just the same thing, but, like, a little bit better. It's, I don't know, I didn't like it. I, I, I think that, like, the build you got going now is pretty close to what I usually run. Um... Like, Santa I usually, Water's yeah, I definitely go with the gun. Good. You know what, I'll take Santa Water, fuck it. Fucking well. Oh, okay. I, I was, I was, like, I was like, I wonder why you like your your guns are firing all the time. It's like it's probably because you have max cooldowns and max. Uh... Yeah. Well, my guns combined to a mighty uh, a mighty like, spin. No, usually with that gun. Uh, oh it, yeah, it, yeah, it, flat, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the duration. I, yeah, I've, I've got increased duration. 
Yeah, so you've got max duration, max. Uh, also, max cooldown so the guns are firing faster. I know what I'm doing here, Kyle. Yeah. I gotta get to level 100. Hopefully, I'll be able to do it. it that's actually a I little think bit. You can. It's actually a little oh, bit yeah, hard to do without the pentagram. Yeah. yeah, the pentagram really makes it easy just because it, like. You know what I might it, do? There's a curse thing. Oh, there's an orb thing. I'll grab that orb. That's that's gonna be a good start. But there's a uh, there's a curse thing over to the left, which makes the game harder, but also like spawns in more enemies. I might I would grab just do that because yeah. I'm not I'm not yeah, having any issues staying alive or anything. So I think you're fine. Yeah, if you do that. I also have like a revive item. So plus, Ooh. you haven't like you you're still not like fully leveled out. So you're still you still will get more powerful. Yeah. Uh, speed. Speed, might. Oh, oh yeah. Do you, have, do you have the limit breaker yet, where you can just no, level shit I, infinitely? I, I was actually trying to get that. Like I saw that in the unlocks, and I was trying to get it. Gold mania. See, Is you the... guys are feeling secondhand dopamine. Admit it. Gold mania. Admit oh, it. Admit it. Monica hates this game because she says there's no vampires in it. And you know what? She's not wrong, but. You're but hyper fixating on the first word and not the second word. That guy might kind of be a vampire, maybe. Yeah, my guy, the guy I'm playing as might be a, a vampire. There's a chest back there, And he's wow. surviving. Yeah, I, I, I got it. Don't worry. Kyle, you're living in the past and you just proved it. Maybe. You're like, oh, who's the president? Bill Clinton? Yeah, Kyle. Sure. Bill <laughs> Clinton. Uh, I don't yeah, know that, where I lost all this health from, though. That's disquieting. Uh, yeah, I, maybe. every once in a while, when you have like a an aura kind of thing around you, every once in a while, an enemy will just randomly get through and hit you. Yeah, you know what? I I think I'll be fine. I I, I just got to keep increasing like my power. You can actually get in trouble f for like moving too fast in this game, like cause, yeah, because you'll start out pacing your damage and speeding through enemies and stuff. All right, here it's we one go. One of the reasons, like, as let's, good as she is, that, there's that character that has, like, the curse attached to her. Uh, was her name Luma or whatever? Or, like, Lena? Uh, Lena? Lena? Something like that. The one with the axes, like, her passive is that, like, she moves faster, but then enemies, like, will spawn in faster. Like, throughout the game as you level up. So it's just, like, she's cool, but, like, uh, it's sometimes, like, it makes it really hard to play as her because not only are more enemies spawning in, but you're moving so fast that you're just accidentally running into shit. Well, if you were good at the game, Kyle, that wouldn't be a problem. You would welcome the challenge. That's true. All right, let's see. So now, now I'm at max curse. So now, now yeah. this is as, as big as it gets. I can also grab. You know what? There's there's also these these like special items on the side that I can also grab. I might go for those. Yep. Four minutes for ten levels. I think you can do it. I can as do long it. As, like, yeah, I, I'm I'm pretty confident that I can do it. Plus, well, gonna be XP increase, so yeah, you're probably okay. Yeah, I think I'm all right. The pentagram just makes it super easy because you just you're, it always sucks things in. Yeah, it always sucks things in, and it turns enemies into fucking experience when you get like the super yeah. level of it. Plus, yeah, shit yeah. gets like crazier as time goes on. Shit's gonna get nutty, Kyle. Yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna go bonkers. Uh, let's see, might. I want, I want might. Yeah, might's. Uh, okay, I passed what I was going for, but you know what? Oh, wait, you know what? Maybe I don't want that health thing. Maybe I just want the, uh... I'm just gonna go for the fucking silver thing. Uh... Might. Man. Might, Kyle, might! Might is right. No, it's not. <laughs> not always, Kyle. Not always. I will You're say, just like, thinking the, the way the bureaucrats keep telling you to. The fireballs is, is an item I don't usually go for, but it is really strong. Like if, if you get if if you need something to die, it'll like it, it'll definitely get you there. Yeah, I feel like um things like the uh, the garlic kind of fall off really really late. Yeah. But like the the fireball doesn't really uh, the knives kind of fall off the magic wand kind of falls off, but the like the fireballs are pretty strong and then the uh, the bibles don't really fall off really. Bibles, yeah, the bibles are some of the best items in the game I've found. Oh, uh, you just I am maxed out. You only get gold. Yeah, I only get gold from the. I can still level up the items infinitely. That's something that you unlock like way later. 
<laughs> That's only give you twelve. Yeah. Uh, area. Are oh, you getting a pretty good amount of XP now? Okay, yeah, I, I made it to a hundred. Oh, you did. Okay, yeah. Okay. Wait. You did it. Yeah, nothing's gonna touch me. See, the best defense is a good offense. Can you? You can you kill the uh, the like death the or light within me? Never. Uh, you. So you can't kill him, but you can like freeze. Him. You know what? You can. He dies if you uh. You can kill this guy. But, but, no, the guy that comes and kills you, you you can freeze him in time if you upgrade the, like, time freeze thingy. Oh, uh, okay, so you can keep going. Yeah, you can keep going and then, like, more of them come in and it gets to the point where, like, ten of them are chasing you. Uh, and okay. then, uh, after that happens, then, um... Yeah. Then, I, think uh, I, actually, yeah. I actually had to uninstall this game because we were making pregame and I was noticing that like I, was, I would take like a, a break and I'm like, oh, I'll just do one run of Vampire Survivors and then I would take one, one, one run would turn into like three. So yeah, like, I have to, un I have to, like, I have to un uninstall this. If I uninstalled it for until we finished pregame. I have to reinstall it. It's good. Yeah, it, no, it is good. It's just like it's it's one of those games where it's like if you're. If you're if you're not like paying attention to how much time you're spending on it, you'll like you'll lose you'll lose track of what where what you're doing. And like you know, like it, like it was like the, it was one day of me working on pregame, and I'm like I have to uninstall this. Like this is just we were like this is a big episode, and I don't want to fucking like be the one to hold it up. Yeah. By the way, if you haven't seen the new episode of Pregame Discharge, it's kind of a fucking monster. So yeah. It's, uh, I, I, I think it's done. maybe one of our best episodes so far. Oh, it's totally. definitely one of our totally. longest, but like I think pound for pound, I think a lot of the jokes I'm I'm pretty proud of. I think it's this is the one where uh, a lot of people. It's weird. A lot of people have been telling like, "Hey, you should you should check the show out." Like, have finally checked it out, and I'm kind of glad it was this one. Yeah, that's you, that's if, good. If, like my, my friend uh, Sergio, I think I think you might have met him before. Uh, he he just hit me up this morning. He's like, "Oh hey man, I I uh, I know you've been telling me to watch it for a long time." And I just, I, he's like, "I just never got around to it." And I did. And I was like, "Oh, I'm, like like I wish I'd been watching this whole time. It's so great." And I'm like, "Oh yeah, thanks, man." I get like fucking every episode. I get at least like five comments like that. Like I've been subscribed to you and I've just been ignoring these, but I finally gave it a chance. And it's like yeah, I... it's like thank you, but fu fucking please <laughs> <laughs> just watch the video. Just watch the fuck. Yeah. No, it, it's is... weird, too, because I know a lot of people, like, subscribed for, like, spoilers ahead, and I feel like yeah. pregame is, like, definitely the spiritual successor to that show. Yeah, to an and, extent. Uh, I, I think, like, spoilers ahead for video games kind of thing, like... Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess there were spo video games as spoilers ahead, It's yeah. the same kind of jokes and shit. It's, like, it's a, it's a very similar comedic style. Yeah. No, I, I, I'd say that's fair. This just doesn't do the voice. It does a different voice. All right, I'm a louder, gonna play angry. No, I'm voice. also gonna play vampire. You're survivor. gonna play vampire survivor. Yeah, I, I just decided that I was gonna reinstall it. And play this is that. like that Next. time we both wore the same dress to the party, Kyle. Yeah, and it was and then you made, you made me you made me change, and it was it was very. See, that was supposed to be a lesson that you shouldn't change for anybody. But you kind of didn't take it that uh, way. You just changed your clothes, and I was like, "This is a valuable pawn on my chessboard." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, I, I think that like, I, I, maybe it's something that just has to get. Like, I, I, I think like just this game is is a definitely like you know falls into that category. But I think roguelikes are just. I've said it before, but I think they're just my new favorite type of game because you can just jump on, do a couple rounds, and then hop off. Yeah, Whereas, roguelikes like, are. Um, as much as I loved Elden Ring, that game took over my life. I would say for games that I actually play for the gameplay, like roguelikes are are pretty up there. I feel like a lot of games, like I'll play them for like a story or a sense of immersion, but like yeah, for for gameplay stuff. It, it roguelikes are, are kind of my go-to. It's like rogue roguelikes and Soulsborns. A lot of the time, I think that's because they have to they have to be fun to play. Otherwise, like, you know, like there's such a heavy focus like on the game, like uninterrupted gameplay, and that's you know like you know what I mean. Like, there's no cutscenes. There's no like annoying like like lore dumps and stuff like that. It's just it's just straight into you're playing a video game now, like. 
I don't know. Something about that is really like it's just it's soothing. You know what? I want to do a weird run. I'm gonna put my max weapons at one, so I I can only use this fucking this fucking thing. I'm gonna go to the tower, and you guys are gonna. I want to see if I could just clear out the whole fucking stage with this. There's a weapon here that gives me. It gives me rerolls, skips, and banishes, and it gives 20% might and an 8% cooldown for each active weapon slot left empty. And I've got a max of one. So all I'm gonna get is this. But I'm gonna fucking destroy Kyle. You have no idea. Alright. You think you know, but you don't know the half of it. Oh, I, I, I trust you. You shouldn't. But oh, I'm that, glad yeah, you that, do. This bitch is that, fucking that, broken. That character is broken as fuck. This is, is like, if you, if you want, like, the babiest, easiest run in the whole game, just play this bitch. I mean, she her, her item does have the thing where you have to get a curse to, uh... To improve her item you can get it and then banish it if you uh yeah if you don't yeah. want to deal with it which i mean like it, it it doesn't make the game much harder but like that that does like increase the once you get all like the upgrades and shit like she goes fucking crazy she like, goes what you're doing what you're doing right now is like already insane for that early in the game yeah i i will uh ooh, should i get the i'll get the crown I was gonna say, um... So, so I have one item, and it's just gonna- I'm just gonna scale it endlessly, and you're gonna fucking- you're gonna be like, You broke it. This isn't fun at all to watch. You broke it. <laughs> this is gonna absolutely crush. I've never- I've never done this before, but I know that it's gonna fucking absolutely crush. Yeah, I, I also, like, will say that this game does the same thing as, like, Risk of Rain, where it just lets you go nuts. Like, I, more games need to do that. I agree. Yeah. Okay, so my last item has to be the curse thing, because I want... want my big boy, uh... my big boy curse item. Thanks for the sub, Loafs of Milk. You fucking rascal. You loafy little rascal. Loafy's a good dog name or something. Loafy? Yeah. No, yeah. I, I, I would say that, yeah. Like if you've got like one of those like corgis or something that looks like bread, call him Loafy. Good. No, that's good. All right, you're... <laughs> I like it. You should. It was made for you. Oh. Sophie Loader. What you do? Dude, imagine pumping out a loaf. Ah, duplicator would have been good. Mmm. I'd give what up... I've been, what I've been working on in this game is killing that weird, like... You know what? You, I'm gonna go duplicator, and I'm not even gonna evolve this weapon. I'm just gonna fucking go for raw damage on it. Have you, like, uh, done the challenge where, like, in that level called the Bone Zone, where you have to, like, chase that big ball of skeletons around? Yeah, yeah, I've done that. I, I think that's how you get I never, the infinite I keep getting scaling close thing. and then dying. It's frustrating. I could probably, with this build that I'm doing right now, I could probably kill it. I don't know if it respawns after you kill it. I think it does. Oh, it, it has, like, an item in it that I'm trying to get. I, I think that that's the thing that lets you go unlimited. No, it, it, the limit break item is, is something else. You have to, like, get to... I, I don't have that level yet. It's the level that's after this one. The, the one that you're on. Um, Is it? I think so, because it... Uh, it's... I don't know, let me... You get, I mean... Great, you need the great gospel, and it says... Uh, drop by the Ender in Capella Magna. I don't know what that is. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think, I think Capella Magna is the... Uh... Yeah. This game does something that, like, actually scared the shit out of me at, at one point, but I'm not gonna spoil what it is. <laughs> but, like, if you've played it, you probably know, like, because I was playing it, like, really late at night, and I was just not expecting the game to do it, and then it did something really weird, and I was like... It, it was just like, it was it was like a 3 a.m. challenge where I, I, I became a evil Five Nights at Freddy, and uh, I, I fucking, I fucking screamed. Screeched. I did. I didn't scream, but it, it was genuinely like I did not expect a game like this to fucking like 
actually creep me out. Yeah. It's it's weird, like... It, this game is weirdly simple, but, like, I think that's just, like, part of the charm to it. Yeah, that's what people say about me. They say I'm a bit of a yokel. I'm a little old-fashioned. Yeah. But that's part of the, the charm. It's true, I've heard them say that. I still chew tobacco, Kyle. And I smoke it out of a pipe. And I smoke it out of a bong. And I smoke it uh, <laughs> I smoke out of an it. apple. I smoke it I've in bathrooms. I smoke it off of a spoon. You ever done I the apple I love tobacco. I love it. Can't get enough. Sorry, what were you saying? Yeah, I, I was gonna say like I, I've done the uh, I've done the uh, the the out of an apple thing with with pot. Have you ever done that before? The apple bong. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I didn't. I don't know. So my my friends thought it was like like, like actually like cool, and I was just like, this is. I so that you you get like like so much of like the actual like it's just like unfiltered smoke like right into your face like yeah no it, like it burning sucks. apple it's, it's not good it's it's really it's not fun I I did it in fucking like high school so like yeah it, man, not, yeah not it, recent, I, I wouldn't no. I wouldn't do it like as a as a yeah, choice as soon as, we, as soon as we were out of high school it became kind of like commonplace to like just have that sh like like have like a like a pipe or something like that. Like like people just sell it. Like like you know, like glassware and shit became I think more commonplace. Yeah. It, it wasn't as hard to get. Yeah. Before before we had your fucking new fame fangled vaporizers and such, it, we just yeah. used to use those like shitty fucking like uh like glass pipes. Those those ones that you just pack a bowl in the fucking like bottom and <laughs> hold a thing on the side. You know what? I still, I, I still fucking, I still fucking have a soft spot for those. I hate them. They burn my fingers. I, I like big, when my fingers get burned. Big, That's part of the big joy. Monkey thumbs, I burn them every fucking time. You, you burn your big Megan Fox thumbs. Yeah. Then you have to marry Machine Gun Kelly, and he gives you a ring that digs into your finger oh, if you God. try to take it off. Oh God. He puts a I, witch's I, curse, a Kelly's curse, on you. That guy is like, I don't know. He he's like the epitome of like that guy that in like in in like high school that no one likes, and he just doesn't understand why nobody likes him. It's just like, dude. Like, yeah, but he's like forty six. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. He just never grew out of it. He's always been that guy, and he will always be that guy. The weird like, thing with shit like that is, I know that he's big now. But I yeah. had never fucking heard of him until recently, so it's like, how did you get away with acting like that for so long and then become successful? Yeah, maybe, it's maybe so he's weird. been around for a while and I just haven't been aware of it. But no, he's it, been around. He's been around for a while. I because I because I, I saw him like I, I he played fucking like like when the first time I remember like realizing that he'd been around and I hadn't I didn't know he played uh Tommy Lee in the in the dirt. Uh, it, the the Motley Crue uh, documentary. Oh, was he or, an actor that became a musician, or no? I think he was a musician first. He was just he's in all these like obscure movies. Hmm. As a so musician, I I don't know. It's just weird. I I don't. He's definitely like just kind of. I think bigger than he should be. I think a lot of people would agree with that. Yeah, he should be a few inches smaller, I think. Like, yeah. It's weird that he's over six foot. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> I think you need... You need yeah, you need, you, we're, we're gatekeeping height now. That's our that's our new thing. I, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna make forums where we fucking trash everybody above six yeah. foot but under six three. What are they gonna do? Fight us? We're bigger than them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I will say that is like one thing that I do like about being tall is that people don't fuck with you. Yeah. Like, like, like I've I've been in situations where like, like somebody's like started to try to fight me and then I just stood up and they, they, and they, like and I'm not and I'm not a good fighter like, like I'll, I'll say that right straight up like I, if they fought me they would probably win and it's like it uh and, and like they but they'll back down because like I I tower over them so it's just like oh that's a it's like a, it's almost like a defense mechanism. Like I, I I have like those, it's like those uh, those uh, puffer fish. Are they, no, no. There's like the poisonous frogs that are like a certain have like a certain uh, color to them or like a, a certain like pattern on them. Yeah, but, but there's other. This is a shit analogy. Yeah. No, but then there's other frogs that fuck you. 
There's other frogs that look just like them, but they're not poisonous. Like it's like in a. It, it's, oh right, yeah, it, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a butterfly so it's, like it, that too. Why didn't you use that example? Yeah. Did you don't want to be a butterfly? Hmm. Hmm. No, Lyle, hmm. I, I haven't earned the title of butterfly. <laughs> I'm still in my my cocoon. You'll you come out one day. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that made me funny though. But, <laughs> but fucking again. yeah, no. Uh, I I don't know why I like this. But when I'm walking on the street at night and someone crosses the street, that gives me a fucking yeah. rush. I love that. I, I love I, that. It's like the best feeling in the world. I will say I don't get offended by it, but yeah, I, I, I guess that's. I, I guess I could see why you would like that, though. I, I, I don't think that really happens to me that often. Um, I will. I will get people who like. I will. Ha I will say like something that like I've I've tried to not do because I I realize that it, that it does kind of, for some reason like I, I don't know why but it does it does seem to kind of upset people. I don't know if it's because I'm tall or or because it's just like, like how my voice sounds when I do it. But like like if I if if I if I do the like if I start to get angry like with like customer service and I start to do like the let let me speak to your manager kind of voice. Like I realize that like it for some reason people get very easily intimidated by the way I, I do it so like I just I try not to do that anymore because I'm just like this is I don't know I just feel shitty you know like I, like I, I'm not trying to like it, I'm not trying to be that way I'm just genuinely annoyed and like it, it just comes out and then I just realize like man I'm if I was like this worker I would I would be like not scared but like I would be like frustrated like with the way I'm talking right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop like I, yeah I, you know, I, I try to for the most part like be good to like service workers and shit like yeah that. It, I, it, I will even only if, get mad at people yeah. like that if they really really fucking deserve it because that's the thing I don't, I don't I'm not mad at them most of the time I'm not like I'm just like I'm just annoyed with the situation and and I'm, and I'm like fuck I, how do I like spin this and where where I'm telling them is like I'm really not mad at you I'm just like I'm just not in a good mood right now because this is happening you know like it's not it's not I know it's not your fault like I you know I. It's one of the reasons, like, like even if, like, somebody, like, gives me food and it's not, like, if I order food and it's not exactly the way I want it, like, I, I won't complain because I'm just like, you know, like, I'll, I'm still gonna eat it, you know, <laughs> like, I don't know, it's... Yeah, I, I, for the most part, it, unless they get something, like, super, super wrong, but even then, I'm not gonna fucking, like, throw my arms up and... But, but it, it, it's just one of those things where I've seen my dad, like, my, my dad doesn't usually get mad at customer service people. Like, my dad waited, like, bus tables for, like, his whole college career, so he knows, like... He knows real pain. Well, no, he, that's that's how he, like, ate, you know? Like, so he gets it. But at the same time, like, it, like there's been times where we've been at, like, the DMV or something, and I've been like, Dad, let's just, like, let's go outside for a second and, like, come... Like, he's just been really pissed off, and I've been like... I don't know. I, I see that sort of shit, and I'm just like, man, I, I feel like I, I did get that a little bit, where like now I'll get angry at stuff, and people can tell that I'm angry. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not an angry guy. It's just like if, if I am mad, like you can really you can you can really tell. I'm not really good at concealing it. Yeah, no. The the last time I got I got mad at like a fucking like yeah. customer service person was I don't know if I told yeah. this fucking story before. We uh we were getting on a flight. For for something like it was it was oh, like an yeah, event I already know like what you're gonna our, say. our you friend was was yeah. having so we were like trying to get on a flight it was like a big thing and uh, yeah we we were we were like at the airport and we basically it was it was Delta Airlines but apparently a bunch of airlines did this not specifically Delta but also fuck Delta Delta did it in particular bad yeah um and they fucking uh they basically. They, we got to the airport around like 10, right? Our flight was for, it, our flight was for like 11 or noon or something. Yeah. Basically, they kept doing this thing where they're like, hey, your flight is delayed by half an hour. Yeah. And also, your gate has changed to across the airport. So you've got to walk yeah. across the airport. So I, they did that yeah. to us. And I'm not even joking. They did that to us like 10 times. And yeah. eventually, it was like 7 p.m. They had done it to us like 10 times. And then they were like, oh, your flight's canceled. Go wait in line to like rebook. And they made us wait in line with these fucking customer service people. It was literally like one person sitting at a desk at the end of the line. Yeah. So we, we were like, okay, maybe if we call Delta like customer support, we'll get to that first before we get to the front of the line, right? Yeah. So we did that. We, we waited in line for maybe like three hours. 
And about three Jesus. hours into the line, we get a hold of Delta customer support, tell them our situation, and we're like, yeah, we need to get to Boston, you know, by tomorrow. Yeah. And they were like, okay, well, we can give you a refund and just keep waiting in the line and the person at the front of the line can rebook you a flight. And we were like, okay, cool. So we yeah. wait in line and other fucking like two hours. And the thing about this is at this point we're refunded our money and we're now in a race against the clock pretty much because they've chewed through so much of our time that yeah. now it's becoming an issue of logistics where it's like, if we would have done this earlier on in the day, maybe we could have gotten a flight, but the longer we spend waiting in this fucking line, the more those options start to close up. So, yeah. you know, now we're get we're getting fucking antsy. And uh, we get to the front of the line and we're talking to the person. We're like, hey, look, we need to we need to be in Boston for this thing. It's happening this time. So we need to get there before then. And so they're like, OK, uh, yeah. So they look they look it up and they're like, OK, yeah, we we can do. We found a flight for you and we can like book it for you. And I'm like, oh, fucking thank God. Like you, you like saved our ass. And as I'm thanking this woman, she goes, oh, actually, you got a refund, so there's nothing we can do. Are you fucking and I was like, uh... you're looking at it. You're literally looking at it. Like, what do you mean there's nothing you can do? You literally just told us that you could. And she's like, oh, yeah, but, you know, you got a refund, so I can't do it. And that, that I think, is the first time I've screamed at a customer service person, like, yeah. maybe in my whole life. I think yeah. that's the, I, I, but I straight no, up, like, cussed her out. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And she was yeah. like, she, they, they, yeah, it, it, it got like, yeah, I mean, I, but that's the thing. Like, that's, that's, that's ridiculous. I mean, it, I, I straight up yelled at her. I'm like, you're fucking looking at it. Don't give me bullshit. Yeah. Like we waited in this line for four fucking hours while you like closed out all our options. You literally just told me you could do it. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, but you got a refund. It's like, well, we'll pay for it. Like we got a refund. Well, and yeah. she's like, no. But after I screamed at her, she was just like, I don't know that that is one thing where it's like, Dude, you gotta fucking yeah. You gotta fucking know that like your airline just fucked over these people for like a really long time. Yeah, you know, and it's just like it. it I I do get like in that particular instance, it was like because then they don't have to help you, and they yeah. know that they don't have to help you, so they they do kind of get all like, well, now that you were rude to me, now yeah. I don't have to, and it's just like you motherfucker. Yeah. So like that that woman was a fucking. I'm glad she had to deal with all those yeah, fucking just, people. It, it, there is like a certain point where it's. I it, went from feeling bad for her to being like, I'm glad your job is this, you horrible bitch. <laughs> no, I. I it, there are some like customer service people who just like legitimately. Like, I, I, I don't usually get mad at people. Like, I try not to get mad at people over the phone, but like the other day, I, I had the fucking. This, this lady. I, I was like, Citibank is the worst. Don't ever get Citibank. They suck. They don't even know how to design like their own fucking website. Like it literally, if you don't erase cookies every time you use their website, it doesn't work. But they have an issue where like my account keeps getting locked, and and, and, and like I don't have Citibank anymore. Like I, because of this, I canceled it. Like I I, I moved my shit to another bank because they're sh they're so garbage. Uh, but like I was like telling her like, listen, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but it keeps saying access blocked. I can't I can't access the the thing. Like like I've tried it on multiple multiple computers i've tried it on multiple browsers i've I, like i can't get into my app it's saying access blocked you guys need to unlock my account she's like well, well sir it's saying here that it's not and i'm like well then it's wrong like and then she's trying to get me to like troubleshoot stuff and i'm like i've made this call a million times trying to get this fixed get your it like to, to fix this or something like that like get somebody like involved you know this stuff doesn't work you know you have to have some other higher level of stuff and she keeps and she's like well what you can do sir is you can go and get like, like go to this page and click forgot password and i like fucking lost it i was like are you like you're not telling me right now i literally told you five minutes ago that like i tried to do the forgot password thing and i put in my fucking social security number and it said it didn't match your match your, uh, match your records something is wrong on your end and she's like well sir then it must be your your computer or the browser and i was like i shut down i was like i I, I didn't say anything. She's like, sir, did you open this window? Sir? And I, I'm just not saying anything. I'm leaving her on the line. And I'm just like awestruck by like how fucking annoying she is. I'm like, I, I was like, uh, it's just like, it just annoys me because I'm like, I know you have to deal with like old people and people who don't know how to do technology. It's like, I know what I'm doing. Like, this is so frustrating. Like, just 
Give me to somebody who can fucking help me. Like, and she's like, sir, are you doing this? Sir, I'm not getting a response. And I was just like, the longer, the more time of hers I wasted, like, the more I was just like, I don't know. I it, Maybe she didn't deserve that, but I was just like so fucking mad. I was just like, are you, what else? Like, like you're, you're talking to me like I'm a fucking child and I'm telling you, like, this is not working. Like, Fucking uh, Bank of America stole I don't even know how much money from me. Uh, oh my god. I fucking, I fucking hate Bank of America. Um, yeah. and, and I don't know what I can do, and there's no recourse, and I'm fucked. But they basically Listen. stole, like, maybe, maybe like 400 bucks from me or something like that. So annoying. But basically what happened was, I had a credit card with them, and I had that uh -huh. credit card on an auto pay. And I had that auto pay mm. to do, like, a minimum of, like, $25. Yeah. Uh, but what happened so was pay the, I yeah. paid off the credit card and I didn't have anything to pay So it was like auto paying $25 for like but, years or something That's, that's bullshit And when I realized that. that that was happening and they were like, oh, yeah, we like sent you a check in the mail um, So like we we gave you that money back. We, we sent you the check in the mail So I like go through my mail and I find you know because I, I have all my shit paperless So I don't open up like the mail from Bank of America because I know what it's going to be. It's going to be a credit card statement that says you don't owe any money because you're not using this card. So I'm like, fuck it, whatever. I didn't yeah. think that they'd keep billing me for yeah. a card that's like completely paid off already yeah. and then sending me a check in the mail that like expires on a certain date. And that's the kicker, yeah. right? Because they sent me, oh, yeah, they were sending expired. me checks fuck back you. and they yeah. expired and it showed me when they sent it because it was with a statement. And it expired yeah. the month after uh, the fucking check was written. So unless I had, like, cashed that check within the month, I guess that money is just fucking gone. And I don't know, yeah. like, what the fuck... So, yeah, they basically just stole, like, 400 bucks from me over the course of, like, yeah. I don't know, no, three I, years that, or something. It's bullshit, dude. It's, it's fucking... It's, the, 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 like, I... The banks, like, have these weird systems in place. It's, like, they know they're fucking you over. Like, yeah, banks are the worst. I think banks of all the fucking industries, they have like some of the worst customer service and dude, they, that, they they have the worst fucking hours. Like they're never open when I, you need them to be. I, 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 uh, like they will fucking close for anything. It's bullshit. And it's yeah. like, it's one of the most important yeah, like oh, things. Like it's yeah. literally the place that holds your money. That should dude, be open dude. fucking 24 hours a day. It blows my fucking mind that Wells Fargo is allowed to still be a bank. Because, like, they... Did you ever hear about that scandal where they were, like, opening accounts for people, like, that didn't ask them to open accounts and basically stealing money from them? It's like, okay, yeah, you don't get to be a bank anymore. Like, what What the fuck... How is that a thing that they're still around? Yeah, Wells like, Fargo they, sucks ass. I, I have Wells Fargo, and the only reason that I haven't, like, switched off of them... Yeah is because like it's my first credit card and if you get rid of that like it I, that's, lowers that's your credit i've heard i've heard that's a myth well it, it, it reduces your credit history doesn't it i don't think so Maybe. i don't think it gets, i don't think it reduces your credit i don't think it just deletes your credit history i think it just means like oh yeah that that credit line has ended as i think as long as you get another credit card to replace it I mean, I have I have other ones. I don't even use yeah. that card. I don't think but... I don't think that that's I, that maybe that was a thing previously. But I I, I talked because when I was getting rid of my my Citibank shit, uh, I talked to my dad about that because I was like that was my first credit card, and I was like I really want to get rid of this bank. He's like, yeah, just don't worry about it. Like it it won't affect your credit. I was like, oh okay. I by the way, what is it about this game that makes us fucking talk about credit? We when we played it on I... Oni Plays, we ended up in a fucking. <laughs> We ended up in a fucking like black yeah. hole of talking about credit. Now we've done it well, again. Yeah, about, yeah, this is the fucking credit game. This game it is brings more it out in you. It makes you more fiscally yeah. responsible, and I yeah. hate it. This game's all about investing. That's what it is. You're, you're investing these experience, the, your experiences and your time into into making yourself more powerful. That's what banking is all about. That's true. Proper banking. When it, when it comes to like customer service, like I I've really like, like there's so many industries where like they're just designed to fuck you over. I've found that the more important in your life it is, the more that yeah, they do that yeah. because they figure like, oh like oh, yeah, what are you gonna, gonna do? It. Like not have a bank? What are you gonna do? Not have medical insurance? What are you gonna yeah. do? Not get on an airplane? Fuck you, bitch! We own you. 
You know, yeah, if I it's something like if you have a problem with your fucking TV or with like oh, yeah. a cheeseburger, like dude, that shit gets sorted out real fucking fast. But if it's something yeah. that you actually need and you'll die without, or like you've got dude. like business ties to, or like you need to get somewhere, like they they know that they got you by dude, the balls. They don't gotta be nice to you. The fact that PG and E is still a company too blows my fucking mind. They Ooh. burn down like a town's worth of houses with their fucking their their slip ups. Like it's. Or like not a town's worth, like a city's worth of houses. They they burned like like thousands of acres, square mile and square miles of like just every like like, like natural forest townships. What what like, does this company do? PG and E, the the electrical company. They're the ones that like the, remember the campfire, the uh, the the fire that was up north that burned like they had an electrical it was, it was, company campfire. <laughs> This isn't funny, Lyle. People die. Okay, sorry. I didn't know that when I made the joke. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. It, the, 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 it was like this massive fire that happened like five or six years ago that was like uh, caused by there was a, there was a, a, a ton of underbrush. Uh, and what happened was a PG&E is the is the uh, is one of the main electrical companies in California, and they haven't like updated like their their uh, grid in a long time. So they had this like hook that was holding up. Uh, one of their towers, and it snapped, and it was supposed to be replaced like every forty years or something like that, and it's been sixty. So like, yeah, it broke over time, and then it, and then the tower fell down. It created sparks, and it, and it just burned down like half of California, and like not half of California, but it's just a sizable portion of the state. And they're still like allowed to be a company, and and like. My sister is uh, lives in San Diego, and that's her electrical company. And they were billing the apartment, like they were giving her the bill for the apartment below her, and they owe her like seven thousand dollars because like those people would just use electricity like crazy, and and they're like still like she still has to like fight them to get her money back. It's like what do you fucking? I don't know. It's just it, like when the company is like that incompetent, it, it legitimately. I just think that they should just be dissolved. I agree. You know, also, I like, like, uh, I'm, like, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad that you've been enjoying the content, Curry Yamik. I'm sorry, this is your first stream ever with us bitching about electrical companies and banks. Yeah, I mean, we could we could change the subject, but I, I just think that, like, yeah, there's a lot of. Yeah, I think I think you had a good point about like uh, the amount of like uh, shit that that uh, it just the things that you need being like. They take advantage of your shit. You know? Yeah, like absolutely. It's, it's fucking evil. But, uh, they fucking no, get you. Also, Kyle, what do you think of this fucking run? Look at look at what I've got that going on. That looks fair and fun. What you're doing. I could literally. Holy. I have definitely gotten to this point in a run and then left the game alone and like gone and done something and just come back yeah. to like, I oh yeah, your yeah. your run's over and you made a billion trillion dollars and you're the best. Yeah. <laughs> I like how it's this game, yeah, this, this game rewards you by just fucking, like, destroying itself on your behalf. Yeah. And isn't that what you want That's out of anything? That's what we all want, yeah. No, games that let you get broken, I think, are fun as fuck. Like, Risk of Rain is also fun for that, where, like, you there can... There was, like, a time where they, they tried to really rein, like, they were trying to rein that in, like, I could never understand why. It's like, why? Like, it... Power fantasies are like really fun. Yeah, that's like the whole the whole point, right? It's it's yeah. like you want to get to that point in solitaire where the cards are afraid of you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be fair, like, yeah, when you have a good like, like which which kind of games? I, I think we'll like relate to this to to the, the old adage that I think still holds through, uh, which is League of Legends. Uh, which games do you think you have more fun in? The games where like. You, it's like it's like it's like toe to toe and all that stuff. Or the games where like the other person is like doing okay in the beginning, but then you just start absolutely destroying them, and you can tell that they're getting frustrated, and you're just like, y it doesn't matter. You're still like just dunking on them. Like those are just more fun. I I, I will say I, I have a much better time when that sort of shit happens. When I'm so over the top busted that like no one can challenge me, and I'll be like, fuck it, I'll one v five. I don't give a fuck. Like it. That sort of shit is so fun. Like that is like the payoff of League of Legends is when that happens. When you, when your steam rolling is so much fun. You're an evil character, Kyle. I I like on, when everyone you know, just has a nice fair game and shakes liar. hands and it's you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're a liar. No, I, I I do. My favorite is when you can tell the other team is like, or when the the other team starts fighting in all chat. 
That's oh fucking God, hilarious. Yeah. Where like one it's of them so starts funny. like tattling on the, uh, like what do you think yeah. I'm gonna do? You think I'm gonna like give you kills because like your your vein sucks yeah. or something? Like you it, fucking it, baby. Like, it, it's just like these weird excuses for like why they're not doing they're doing yeah, doing well. I will say like if the other team is all chat blaming jungle, I I will I will like defend the jungle just because I I can relate to that heavily. Yeah. Or I'm just like I've been in games where I'm like I'm the jungle and it's not my fault and they still blame it on me. And it's well, like, as the yeah, jungle, that that's the fucking yeah. mea culpa role of the fucking yeah. League of Legends world. You just you just have to take that burden with you. That that is like one of those things that I, I do like about playing that role is that when you're when someone. Uh, when they like, man, like, are, like they'll praise you for how good, like, good you did. Like, it, it's for some reason it makes all those times that people talk shit on you worth it. I don't think so, but okay. <laughs> also, Red Wing <laughs> Angel, you thank go. you for uh, gifting all those fucking subs. By the way, I don't know. I don't know if you guys are mad at Twitch. I know there's a lot of fucking. Uh, there's a lot of fucking drama going on at Twitch. A lot of a lot of drama. Yeah, yeah, a lot of drama. A lot of fucking bad business decisions. But I do have a donate link that bypasses Twitch and just goes straight to me that you can leave like messages and stuff in, and I see it. Yeah. Uh, if if you want to use that instead of like bits and stuff, it's it's somewhere. You gotta yeah. you gotta look around in the fucking about section for it. But it's some people find it. I don't know how they do, but it's there somehow. Twitch kind of changed the way it was laid out, so if you can find it, you're a fucking genius. I can't. I'm I'm stupid. Prove prove how smart you are by donating money. That's the only way to know that, that you found. Did you it. get that that beta? The the oh yeah no you do have it. The elevated chats that they're, they're like it, that's a thing that they just added like yesterday or something like that was the uh, elevated chat. So it's basically people can pay to put a message. In one of two places, like they're they're beta testing it, I guess. So like it's either at the top of chat or like below the stream. I don't understand below the stream. Like that that to me does not make sense. Like it, you, no one's gonna see that. Even you aren't gonna see that. Like if you have the thing in theater mode, it completely like removes that from viewing. You can't see it. So I don't know. It, it's super weird to me. Yeah, <laughs> hateful Canadian says a waste of money. I think I think that is an elevated message. It's it just yeah, put it, it in is. the chat right now. Maybe when it hits the top, no, it, it, it lingers. Oh, no, no, also, so, thanks yeah, for when the it's, sub, Banky Bowers. Yeah, it, it, I think when it hits the top, it lingers up there. But like they they were testing it where yeah no it is at the bottom. They're doing it for both on you. That's weird. Yeah, so if you it, it says at the bottom, it says a waste of money. Oh yeah, I'm not I'm not actually looking at it in Twitch. I'm looking at it in uh, OBS. So. Oh uh, okay. Yeah, you you tell me how it goes, Kyle. You tell me what it is. But I don't. That's that's just so so crazy to me. I don't know. I, th there's a lot of like companies that I think people think are too big to fail, and it's just like I don't know. I don't know if any company is really too big to fail. It's like it just depends on how like how bad the decision is. Yeah, you know? I mean like. Everybody always says like whenever something bad happens, and it's like. It, it's like kind of the the end of a financial quarter and it's like companies lay off a bunch of people usually what that is is like investors saw like a quarterly earnings report and they were like not happy with it and they were yeah. like no like i saw a bunch of people like fucking being like uh like oh yeah g4 failed because that that one chick went on like a feminist rant it's like it, g4 no. failed or g4 is laying off people because some they just fucking put out their quarterly earnings. That's that's yeah. why they're laying off people. Well, that's I mean, always it's what even it is. Even beyond that, it's like this is you're talking about. This is a resurrected version of a company that's already failed. Like it's 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 like yeah. It, there's a, they already knew that there was a great possibility that there there was going to be failure and like and then it's it, it doesn't help that like investors will will get scared. When, well, like, I mean, G G4 like, is probably something that they went into knowing that they were going to be losing like, money on it at first, you know? Like, well, no, no, that's that's any business venture. But, like, it, it's not even just that. It's just, like, investors... If investors see that, like, something that has already failed is not doing, like, amazing straight off, like, it, it's gonna, you know, it, it, it creates, like, a, a lot of, like, anxiety for them. So, and you don't... I don't know. It, when, when, when... I'm just speaking as somebody, like, who's... Who who who's invested in the stock market a bit? Like it, it is annoying when it's like 
man, I, I really like the way this company does their business practices now. And then, like, they start doing stuff where you're just like, man, they used to do that, and it wasn't working for them, and now they're doing it again. You know, like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm off base with that, but it, it feels like... Oh, fucking the Kyle of Wall Street over here. <laughs> I, I invest in... Th the way I invest in things is if I like the way they do business, then, I, then I'll throw my money at it. But it's... When it comes to things that, like, are... I mean, G4 would be a risky investment, you know, because it's something that they've already tried and it didn't work. Now, are different people manning it? I don't know if that's like... Yeah, really almost what, definitely, you know, right? Yeah, right. But I, I'm sure that, that that makes a difference, but at the same time, you know, I I don't know. Yeah, that's Twitch doesn't have to comply with complaints. The only one, I mean, the t Twitch... Twitch is probably like... Because YouTube is a big fucking competitor. Yeah. Like, that's... That's probably going to be really, really bad for fucking. Yeah. Oh, totally. For fucking. No, that's what everybody's big talking T. about. That YouTube, the only thing that, that people don't like about YouTube is the chat. But other than that, like, uh, YouTube is just better. Yeah, YouTube's pretty mobile on stuff like that too. Like they yeah. they usually are like for as much as I bitch about YouTube. Typically, and not always, there's some shit that I don't like, but typically, they're really good with UI stuff and refining UI. Mm -hmm. Like, the shit that they've been doing with, like, I, on your phone now, you can read a transcript of a video that will, like, follow along with the video as you're watching it. Like, shit yeah. like that. That's fucking cool. Yeah. Uh, um, does YouTube as a platform actually make money? I, I, I always hear it never turns a profit. Th I... That's a complicated question, but I mean, that's that's the thing, right? Is like the way it that business is going. It's, it's not yeah. even it's not even about that almost. It, it it's so yeah. dude. Economics is so fucking like ninth level, like five D chess bullshit, and it like none of it makes any fucking sense to me. No, no, it 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 makes sense to me. It's just that Google wants to own everything, and, and it's smart for them to want to own everything because they basically have like a stranglehold on video. And because they have that stranglehold, if video ever becomes more profitable, they just they reap all those rewards. But they, I would argue that YouTube is already profitable just because they sell it as part of their advertising package. Like, yeah, it, it, it's like the, the way that like cable works, right? Is that like they don't make money on cable or phone anymore. They make money on the internet, but they still bundle in cable and phone because people expect it. it, it it's part of the package. They they perceive it as having more value, but they don't make money on it. See, they, they like, should bundle it. it in when people don't expect it, and then all of a sudden yeah. you're your fucking computer starts ringing like a telephone. Yeah. And then it's yeah. ominous, and that's what's going to make them the real money, yeah. is an ominous telephone you, ring I guess call. what I'm saying is YouTube doesn't actually have to make ad revenue. It's just, it's 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 thrown in as part of, like, the stew of, like, if, if you're advertising with Google, you expect ads to play on YouTube. You don't necessarily, like, Google doesn't necessarily think that, like, they're going to make money on those ads. They just know that, like, oh, well, in order for us to sell ads other where we make money we, we make money on the ads in other places, but on YouTube, they, like, break even or even less. People are saying YouTube's no. bad for streamer growth. I mean, is Twitch good for streamer growth? I don't, I don't think, Twitch and I could be wrong. Be, like, the, at least my if, you, if you're one of these people, actually, tell me, has anybody actually discovered me through my Twitch? Or yeah. do you guys mostly come from YouTube and Twitter and stuff like that? Is there anybody here that actually had never heard of me, watched a Twitch stream, and was like, I like this guy, and now watches my Twitch streams? Like, there's 300 people in there, which puts me at, like, the top, like, 0.01% of Twitch streamers. Yeah. But I really don't think I have that much of an audience that came if, from Twitch. If anyone Twitch. did, it would probably be because they saw your videos on... I would guess. It would be because they saw your videos on YouTube. And then, like, your, your, your stream videos on YouTube and then came over here. Yeah, like, a lot I, of people I would actually, I would, from YouTube, I from Oni Plays, from Sanity Not Included, spoilers ahead, yeah. Oni Plays, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Twitter. Um, old old GMX7 videos. Uh, <laughs> YouTube. GMX7, during, because, yeah. oh, this person actually found me through pregame discharge. See? See, Kyle. See? See? Yeah, no, I that's what I but that's what I mean. Like I people say it's it's bad for maybe it's maybe for stream growth, but I don't I don't think that if I'm looking at Twitch, like the front page of Twitch is people who are already in like the top echelon. I don't see lower levels. You need to stop saying Twitch. words like echelon. It makes awesome. it makes you less relatable to the fans. It's true. 
neon genesis echelon over here fucking <laughs> neon genesis echelon uh donated five bucks and said stop talking about finance you nerds yeah we we definitely should no 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 we'll, we'll talk about something else um did you, did you see that she hulk twerked with megan the stallion I think it's Megan the Stallion. There's Megan a very, the Stallion? it's a very fine line to cross. I, I don't, yeah, I don't. It, I've heard it both, but, but that's the thing. The reason I said the is because that's how I watched the clip, and that's how She Hulk pronounced it. She said the Stallion. Well, she got it wrong. She yeah. shouldn't have earned that twerk. Megan no. the Stallion should have fucking stopped it's her the, right there. She should stop her. She should stop her ass mid twerk with a rough slap and some light yeah. kissing, and yeah. say, "Listen here, She Hulk." She needs to, she needs You'll to address me twerk. by by my name. She needs to suck the twerk right back out of her ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she needs to do. I'm gonna use the pigeon just to spite you, Kyle. I hate that thing. I don't know why. It, it just doesn't. I never. It doesn't feel like it does anything. I don't like it. Well, you're gonna see how wrong you are. Probably. I think it was. Just, I'm just kind of bitter because it took me so long to finally. Like I was trying so hard to get the evolved version of it for so many runs, and I just I finally did. And it was like, wow, this is just not that good. You're a bitter shitter, Kyle. Also, I'm yeah. getting weird weapons for this run because I I want to do one that I I don't just get fucking guns and garlic and call it a day. I want to really. I like I, I'm gonna get the shadow pinion, which is apparently good, but I I hate using it. The one they have to like stop and yeah. then like it. It's, yeah. It takes too much brain power. And I'm just yeah. It, it defeats the purpose of this game. It makes you think. Yeah, exactly. You it's feel like it's you're too cerebral. Like a thing. It's a thinking yeah. man's weapon. But you know what? For for once in my fucking life, I'm gonna use a little bit of my brain. Wow! Don't do it. You'll hurt yourself. I'll be like Lucy from the hit film Lucy, or like the guy from Limitless. Oh my God, Lucy! That's or like the that, guy from Akira, or like the guy way. from um. Or Is like, that what it happens in Akira? I thought that Akira was kind of. In, in no, there? I didn't know. I didn't know it was about brain. Thing. I thought it was something about like the potential of cells, not like necessarily the potential of your brain. You could, you could be right. It was like cellular, like it, it was like pushing. I thought it was pushing cellular regeneration to its you, absolute limit. You, can, I could be wrong. All, all right, Kyle, you remember Akira better than me. All right, okay, I, I don't, I'll admit I, it. Is that I, what you wanted to hear? Thing? I have not Every seen Akira since I was like 13 years old. And I could you be still remember wrong. it better than me? Wow, clap for Kyle, everybody. Fuck he you. knows more about Akira than I ever will, I guess. I guess I'm yeah. just a piece of shit, because yeah. I don't remember what Akira was about. You don't really. know shit about the motorcycle shot. I know everything about that. Everybody's doing the Akira motorcycle thing now. Yeah, I feel like almost half the people that do it don't even know what it's from, and they're like, oh, you Probably. just do the fucking motorcycle. Or they Dude, just know Akira is the motorcycle shot <laughs> thing. My cousin is like really into film and he was like defending the Wilhelm scream. I'm like, no, that shit is annoying. I don't give a fuck what, what anybody What says. was his steel man his argument? Give me the, the smart version of what he said. Um, he was basically saying that it's like tradition and that if you're really good at hiding it, 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 it actually it, it it's a fun thing for uh, people who know film to kind of pick out and, 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 and like discover. And I would argue that if you're doing that and someone notices it and it takes them out of the film, then you're objectively like making your movie worse by including it. So like if someone is able to go, oh look, the Wilhelm scream, then you you you're 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 kind of like basically defeating like like you're you're breaking audience immersion. And that makes your movie worse. I get it. So yeah, I, I think that it, you can break audience immersion in a film. It's not the worst thing to do. No, no. But like, it's uh, you have to be really smart about where you put it. Yeah. And even and then, like, I've never, I've never heard the Wilhelm scream and gone. I'm glad that I heard the Wilhelm scream just now. You know? Like, yeah. I've just yeah. been like, that was, I guess, less annoying than it could have been. But half the yeah. time they just throw it in there like a guy falls off a thing and goes, Ow! And then it, that's it, just, it. It just feels like they're telling the same joke over and over and over again. And and I'm just like, I've heard this joke before. It's, you're, you're not, you know, it, it, it is the, uh, the Wilhelm scream is like the, uh, the, the why did the chicken cross the road of like film jokes. And it's, I'm tired of it. I wish they'd stop doing it. If I ever make a movie, God forbid, uh, 
I will not include the Wilhelm scream. This is my promise to you, uh, viewers. Well, Willie I'm Wilhelm a, is going to be fucking real heartbroken that you didn't yeah. include his scream. Yeah, that's true. Do, he doesn't get royalties when you use that, right? I don't think so. I, I would imagine he wouldn't. I don't think his estate gets royalties, no. He might not even be alive. No, he's not. He's definitely dead. He was like 30 was, years old. I mean, like that's where that scream came from, is an alligator done got him. Uh, okay, an alligator done bit him. <laughs> And they and they put it in the movie. Would that make you like it more? Honestly, on it, you know what I would be more impressed with? I would be more impressed with if every movie they hit an alligator, a guy by getting bit by an alligator, uh, in the background, and the guy screams with the Wilhelm scream. If they put that in every movie, and there, and then like I didn't notice it, and I saw a top five uses of the Wilhelm scream, and every one of them was a guy getting bit by an alligator in the background, and I was like, wow, I really didn't notice that. The magic of cinema, <laughs> like. I would be blown away by that. That'd blow me away, too. I think you're right. Yeah. I think you make a very valid point, Kyle. I want to see people get eaten by alligators. That's what I'm saying. That's Those... what I have been saying for a little bit, I, I will say, like, you will the videos... Home. I usually can't go for, like, like people getting, like, hurt in, in, in like, really severe ways. It, it kind of it turns my stomach, and I can't watch it. But... The videos where a guy like holds open an alligator's mouth and puts his head in there and then the alligator like breaks his grip and bites down. I will never not find that funny because <laughs> it's just like you're that's the stupidest thing you could possibly do. What you think you're better than this apex predator. He'll show, I, he'll, he just fucking showed you that shit is so funny to me. Yeah, I saw one that was like it wasn't like a fun video. I wouldn't look it up, but it was uh -huh. a video of like a guy and he's like he's like filming something with a bear. And literally, oh, no. like, the they have, like, the bear on a leash, and I guess they're trying to film something with this bear, and they have it on a leash, and the guy's, like, right next to it. And literally, uh -huh. the second they let it off the leash, it does exactly what you would expect a bear to do. That's a bear thing, yeah. Yeah, and it's just like, what the fuck did you think was gonna happen? Yeah. I gotta say, though, that makes me laugh every time that, like, like... It, like the Grizzly Man documentary, I was cackling the entire way through. Like, yeah. It was so funny. I was... Like, there's, like, this... Uh, the, the best thing to watch, there's a video of, like, a guy... There's, like, nature experts who are, like... I, I, th I think it, it might have been in the documentary. I, I, can't, I haven't watched it in years. But there's, like, a guy who's, like, watching the video of, like, him talking about how, like, there's this bear, like, diving down to eat fish. And, like... And, and he's, like, he's, like, oh, yeah, like, that's... He's like, look at how deep that bear is going down to get those fish. Isn't that what a beautiful creature of nature? And then like a guy is watching him like talk about the bear, and he's like, uh, yeah, like this guy should needs to get the fuck out of there. That bear is diving down because he's starving. Like he'll eat anything at this point, you know. Like, and it's like that. Like it's just, I don't know. It's it's something about like these people who think that they're better than nature, like they know more. And then like somebody who's like actually take put in the work and study nature, you know. Yeah, I don't know. And then, and then, there's also a point in the Grizzly Man documentary where like a, a fox steals his hat and he's screaming at him, and that's really funny to me. Well, I mean, that's the thing about like Tiger King, right? Where it's like, oh yeah, Tiger King. There's the almost way. like a weird, morbid like uh, symbolism in Tiger King, where like yeah. the less limbs somebody has, the better of a person they are. <laughs> it's really that... strange. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's fair. I don't know. I... That th there's so many things that like. I just, I don't know. There's people who think that like they're superior to nature, and it's like, I, you know, it, it it doesn't take much for like a for like nature to fucking humble you, you know, like I don't know. There's that show that I also had that more, uh, more fascination with was just uh, you ever seen that show? Uh, I shouldn't be alive. Yeah, yeah. That show is great. The, the, the half of the fucking things on that are hippo attacks, but like, <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking. Like, like, there, like, like, two things on it. I remember there's one where it's like they're taking like a, like a, a safari tour, like in Africa, and a hippo just charges their boat and just knocks it over, and then they're in alligator-infested waters. And the fact that, like, the fact that hippos are so scary that even alligators don't fuck with them, it's like, damn. Dude. Yeah, hippos are one of the most fucking aggressive they're animals crocodiles. on the planet. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're crazy. They're I nuts. Just, like, Do you ever seen a baby hippo though? They're fucking cute. Yeah, the the what is it the uh, I can't remember her name. The, the Monica little, the, can. Uh, Monica can. What's the name of the baby hippo? Monica remembers. Her. She'll remember. Yeah. she's not. She'll she's remember. not in the room right now. 
Maybe she's watching the stream. Uh, but it's yeah, no, that but that you know, it, it it's weird. I mean, even even adult hippos are, are interesting animals, but like the fact that they're so angry. That, that's that's what, what makes them interesting. Yeah, that's what makes them cool. That's what gives that what that's what makes them relatable. I yes, there are certain there are certain uh, there are certain animals that like once they start fucking shit up, you you kind of like I don't know, you, you get a little bit more respect for them. Like I like giraffes, right? Giraffes are one of my favorite animals. You ever seen a giraffe fight? That shit's crazy. They <laughs> fight. Yeah, they, they like swing, swing they their like, necks yeah, they around. Swing their, they swing their necks around at each other and like smack them together like they're swords. No fucking way. That's badass. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> It's, well, Why didn't nature give them like some cool ass like fucking armored head then? I they have like those little horns. I don't know if they use those though. Yeah, you're right actually. Yeah. They don't need to. They have their they use their necks as weapons. Maybe evolution's working on it. They should give yeah. them like fucking like ar armor plated like lizard scales or something on their Yeah. Like fucking you look at like Komodo dragons. Those are like those are like well designed animals. Dude. Those things fuck yeah. shit up. Komodo dragons are cool. Well, the fact that, like, Komodo dragons are, like only exist in, like, one part of the world, though. They're on one island. Yeah, the and they're never world. fucking leaving. And they're never- no, no, like, they're, they're there forever. Yeah. I don't think those need- I think, like, evolution can just kind of put a wrap on that one. That That's- I mean, they did with good. crocodiles. Crocodiles have not changed in, like, since, it, like, the Cretaceous period. Sharks kind of haven't either. No, no. I mean, they don't need to. It, like, they- Sharks, the fact that, like, the water gets warmer and that means there's more sharks, like, they're gonna live forever. Like, I mean, t to be fair, they are a key part of the ecosystem and Jaws did, like, put a, do a number on their population. And it's still, like, it, you still are seeing the effects of that with, like, people hunting them and stuff. But, you know, the fact that they've survived all that. Yeah, exactly. They, sur they yeah. survived the fucking bad PR of Jaws. I, sharks I, were, I like, one bad. of the earliest fucking, like... Canceled, it, yeah. Like sharks got canceled and fucking shark got canceled. 1986 got canceled. or whatever. I, I, bees getting canceled was pretty bad though. Like, bees getting canceled like, was the stupidest fucking thing because they yeah. actually like pollinate plants. Yeah, they're necessary. If you don't have bees, you're fucked. That's that was they, it. Like, yeah, that was actually the dumbest bullshit. Yeah. I mean, the fact that people like still fuck with like. like be and that's the thing. I've been really close to beehives before, and they don't fuck with you. Like as long as you don't touch the beehive, they don't give a fuck. Like they, I don't know. It, it, I think it was like that whole like, oh man, like three bee stings will kill you, thing shit that was being talked about when we were the Africanized honeybees or whatever. They were Africanized killer bees, Kyle. Yeah, remember killer that? bees. They called yeah. them Africanized. And also, the word Africanized was that. <laughs> Is that racist? I, I feel like there's like some kind of weird connotation bit, with bit. that. I'd say, I'd say there might be. It, it's not. It's like that fucking what is it? The uh, the, the the joke you did in pregame about how uh, the Rock is playing like Black uh, the the name Black Adam. It's like I don't know if that's racist, but it, but is, it is something. something yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's there's a there's something there. Like it doesn't feel. It doesn't feel like you can quite push that narrative, but it, it also feels like if you did, people it, wouldn't. It does people... feel like a weird, like fear mongery word, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. It, I don't know. I, I. There's a lot of like. Shit like that. That 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 kind. Of, I mean, and now like we're afraid because there's those like hornets that are like murdering all the bees, and we're like, no, don't kill the bees. I bet like if that if those hornets had come here. Wait, is that like, why they're called murder hornets? Yeah, because they they go into like they one. I, th I think it's like two or three hornets can kill out a whole can wipe out a whole beehive. It's it's like really bad for them to be around. Is it bad that I think that that's kind of fucking metal though? There's a video you can watch videos of it online. It's it's scary like how how efficient they are like wiping out an entire beehive. There's yeah, like I, would, a, I wouldn't hang out with one, but no, kind of cool. Yeah, and murder, murder hornets, like, they, they don't, like, kill people, they just, it hurts when they sting you, for sure, but they don't, or they bite you, I guess, I don't know if they sting you. They do all kinds of shit. Yeah. Wasps are good pollinators, too, is that true? I thought they were kind of mediocre, because no. they're not fuzzy. I, I, I looked this up before, because I had a wasp problem in my yard, and I was like, should I kill them, because if they pollinate stuff, 
Apparently they don't. They, they are good for one thing, and that is killing mosquitoes. They eat mosquitoes. Dude, fuck so like mosquitoes. It, yeah, and that's one of the reasons, like, I, I was like, you know what? Hornet's nest is on the back of my house, not on the front. I don't really see it. I'm just going to leave it there. Like, like, like it's the, not, not hornets. Uh, wasp nest on the back of my house is like, I'm not going to fuck with it, you know? But they eat, but they eat small bugs like mosquitoes and flies and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, if, if they're like basically, you know, I got to put up with like one or seeing one or two of them to get less flies and mosquitoes. I'll, I'll make that trade off. It's fucking cool. You've got like hornet bodyguards. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's why like I don't kill spiders in my house. I just move them. Move like I'll, them I'll, deeper within I'll, your house. I move them to places like like I'll, I'll just move them to like corner like the corner of the room or something like that. You tactically like, place spiders? Yeah, yeah. Why not? A lot of the, that's the thing because a lot of house spiders will die if you put them outside. Like they're not they're not made to like survive in, in the outside environment. They've kind of evolved to, to live inside. Oh really? Like a, I'm yeah, not birds. telling Monica that. Yeah, uh, but but that's the thing is like if, if a spider is well, I'm talking about like daddy long legs and stuff. I don't really like the big fat ones. Those are outside spiders. You can just stick those outside. Oh yeah, but, daddy long legs. Uh, I don't fuck with those things. Rock. Yeah, yeah. Those but those things are great because they'll just like they the webs are pretty like they're not really noticeable and they'll eat anything that falls into them including like ants and shit like I love that I don't I don't give a fuck the only thing is that like sometimes my cats will eat them and unfortunately that is their fate but also Kyle look how much work the fucking pigeons are putting in and there's four of them now you and your pigeons man. I'm just saying, you insulted them. You're, you insulted their pride. You pigeon, insulted. You're pigeon holing yourself. I would never fucking do that to a pigeon. Okay. <laughs> I, I will say that you have like a lot of the upgrades that I don't have that seems to really help those things get better. At least yeah, the there's I'm one at. that like doubles them. Like yeah, and that, that helps them. I, I still kind of agree with you that the pigeons are not like the best item in yeah. the game. Like they're. They're not great. I, I just wanted to go for variety. I didn't want to go for like the yeah. same old stuff that I always do. Uh, That's fair. Man, I don't even know what I want for like for extra bullshit. I want a duplicator for sure. Uh, let's see. I guess I could get. I need a duplicator. What the fuck do I need? I'll just get more Spanish. I'm gonna get an attract orb eventually. Duplicator, there we go. Okay. Now I just need one more and then I can start collecting. I'm over by some more shit. Uh, more dupes, buddy. This game is fun. Yeah, it is fun. I. It, it's. It is a very, like, lizard brain game, but the fact that, like, it doesn't try to be anything more, I kind of respect. Yeah, but, I, I feel you know, I feel like as as somebody exactly who's exactly what you're looking for out of it, you know, like you need you need kind of like zone out lizard brain shit. I think that that's yeah. like if there's any defense of like kind of like free to play like bullshit chewable games, it's that. But yeah. I, I still think that a lot of them don't succeed as well as something like this or Risk of the Rain. The problem or, I have with a lot of those games is that because of like the FOMO model and stuff like that. It, it makes those games, it, it kind of defeats the purpose of those games because it makes them stressful. Yeah, Because that's now true. you have to, like, fit certain meet certain requirements and stuff like that, and it and it's like, no, the purpose of this game was for me to turn my brain off and relax, not to, like, fill out a checklist. Like, I, I you know, it's like, it's like, I got other shit in my life I have to do. I don't, you know, I don't want to, you know, do this and that and the other thing where it's like, it's just basically wasting my time at that point. Yeah. I, you know, I, I think that I think I don't know. I think there's a lot to be said about games like this that don't, especially you know, roguelikes that just don't demand anything from you, other than like, hey, have fun with our game. Yeah. You know, like it, that. I don't know. That's such a rare thing, and it's it's one of the reasons. I, I I feel like a lot of like these developers that are trying to churn out these like money maker games don't understand that, especially people who are making Overwatch right now. Like, like what the fuck are they doing? Man, Overwatch, Overwatch. Yeah. I. I I get mad talking about Overwatch because, oh, yeah. man, like, TF2 was one of my favorite games in the world, and I felt yeah. like that game kind of... It took a lot longer, but I feel like that game kind of imploded. And Overwatch yeah. was like the second coming of TS TF2. I genuinely yeah. believe that when Overwatch launched, it was... Honestly, it felt like, like the yeah. Team Fortress 3 sequel that, like, should have been made, you know? Like, it, it yeah. a lot of the character design ideas were really, really good. Like, I loved right. Overwatch when it came out. And yeah, they, they yeah. just made every single fucking wrong turn. 
The big one yeah. that I cite is like the roll queue. As yeah. soon as they added uh -huh. the roll queue to that game, it completely killed it because Overwatch was like, yeah. I'll turn this on, I'll play like one or two games, I'll be on it for a total of like 15 minutes, and then yeah, I'll log like off. Hour. Yeah. And now that's how long I have to wait to play my main. So it's like, yeah. fuck that. And, and also, like, just, like, it, it it became this thing of people going, like, well, this is, like, this isn't, it's unfair. Like, everyone's running, like, cheeser comps and stuff like that. And they're, they're like, like, everyone's going, like, four Winstons and two Mercies and stuff. And then it's they, like, like that's I, fun, dude. Like, who cares? I know. Cares? And then when they, when they took out the, un, like, the champion stacking, everyone's like, oh, thank God. It's like, the game was designed around having champion stacking. And then it started, like, people were like, man, now the game, like, then the game started to get more competitive and deteriorate. And I'm like... I feel like that was the first domino. Once they like listened to people and were like, "Oh yeah, we'll stop doing hero stacking." I feel like that's that's like when it like it was the first domino. <laughs> I think the big one was the force team comps. I, I feel like that. Well, the reason I say it's the first domino is because people like they made a, a change for competitive the competitive nature and people responded really well to it. At the time, I was like kind of okay with it too. I'm not gonna say I wasn't, but like the more I think about it now, it's just like man, like that was so much fun. Like being able to go like double Roadhog and like yank people into the pit, yeah. So, like, like chain yank people into the pit and stuff like that. Like now you can't like like like, like their custom game modes option was really cool. Also, like I don't know if you ever played any of those. Those that, that was really cool. It was like open source basically. No, I didn't. I didn't fuck with that too much. That was a really cool idea and it worked really well. Um, but the fact that like. <laughs> <laughs> once they once they start making the game, that once they deem competition more important than having fun, it, the game dies. It happens every single fucking time. It's it's so like like clockwork. That, that's how it goes. Yeah, and it's like people play fucking competitive Minecraft. People play competitive yeah. melee. Neither one of those yeah. games. Melee was not even designed to be balanced. Melee wasn't no. designed to be fucking competitive. Barely like, designed at all. Like. Yeah. It's like, just Again. fucking let game be yeah. fun. No. Like, the, the esports will come out of it if people like the fucking game. Yeah. Like, but if you build a game around esports, 90% of the people playing it aren't going to have as much fun with it. Yeah. Yeah, it's... It is one of the reasons, like, I, although I don't play League of Legends, I do respect Riot's approach to that game, where the, their, their idea is to go, like... Oh yeah, we're just gonna change it every season, and every season it'll be different. It's like, yeah, well, that is kind of frustrating to be the person who has to like learn the thing again. Like, it, in my opinion, it, it it's like the game is will never be balanced that way, and I think that that in a way that's good. Like, yeah, it's annoying when shit is like super broken and, and, and things like that. But every once in a while, like, it, you'll have your time in the sun where like, man, you're like, man, this game is like this. It's my game right now, you know. Like, I'm really feeling it. Like. I mean, I, I think we definitely had that. There was, like, a stint where we were playing. I think it was, like, I was, like, season four. It was, like, there was, like, this huge tank meta. And I was yeah, having so yeah. much the, fun. Yeah, the yeah, fucking, the fucking Juggernaut meta was, like, yeah. the most fun I've had with that game. Going, like, tank Darius and, like, just dumbass shit like that was so much fun. And I don't know. It. Yeah, tr when, when, like, Trundle and, like, Tank Wukong. Oh, yeah. And fucking... Oh, dude. Yeah. I yeah. still remember Tank Jinx. <laughs> Tank was Jinx fun. was my shit. Uh, it's gone now, though. Is it? Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess half the, the items that I used to you build don't Tank have the, Jinx. You don't have the best item in your kit, in my opinion, which is Frozen Mallet. Yeah, Frozen Mallet's gone. Yeah. I mean, I, I understood why they like. I don't know I, why they got rid of it. it. It just wasn't a popular item for people. Everybody but, like, hated it, that item, and I loved it. And I yeah. always built it, and people would be like, why do you have Frozen Mallet? And I'm like, because fuck you, that's why. Because I don't like to build yeah. boots. That's why yeah. I have Frozen Mallet, you bitch. Yeah. Frozen Mallet and, like, Black Cleaver, like, old Triforce. Yeah, old Triforce was legit. Yeah, that was, that was fun. Fucking, I miss Heart of Gold. Fuck it. Like, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll out I myself as a boomer. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of like old video. I, I feel like video games when video it comes games down, used to be better when I was good at them. I don't now they're yeah, bad I, that I'm bad at them. No, I think you? it's but but I, I think with the success of games like Fall Guys and Among Us and stuff like that, people are starting to like work their way back around to oh yeah, games can be fun. Yeah, you know like 
I, I think that, I think it's it's just multiplayer games in particular in a weird bad spot with that. Yeah. It's with like you're already like, seeing it with like Halo only... too, where they like nerfed like the fucking like brute yeah. revolver and they made it like a fucking because I guess competitive Why? players were like this gun is good, and I don't like when things are good. And they were like, okay, we'll make it bad for you. And yeah. then, like, the competitor, the competitive players were, like, mixed on it. And everybody else was like, I thought that gun was bad already, so now I'm especially not using it. Yeah, or, no, that everybody else, but there's a lot of other people who are just like, yeah, I like that that's, that gun was fun. Now it's not fun anymore. Yeah, exactly. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't work anymore. I'm not, like, super sweaty, so I'm not nailing hedge, like, I'm not destroying with it. I'm doing a little bit better when I get it, you know, like, and that's the whole point of like other weapons on the map is that you get this weapon, you do a little bit better. So like for most people, it, it doesn't, it's not a power weapon, you know, like it's basically like, it's like getting the shotgun, you know, like it's the shotgun. It, it, it's not, it's, it's good in close quarters and in certain situations, but overall it will not carry you, you know, not like the, uh, the sniper will or the rocket launcher will. You know, yeah. it, so it's like I don't know. I, I just didn't under I, I didn't understand that design philosophy for Halo at all. You don't understand philosophy in general, Kyle. You fucking no, I Philistine. Don't. Aristotle was a fool, if you ask me. Aristotle, more like I'm about to air some dirty laundry. Let's get into it. Number one, Aristotle fucking mused all over my balcony. Didn't clean yeah. it up. Uh, number oh, two, cool. Aristotle sent strange texts to my girlfriend. Uh, number three, um, Aristotle pointed towards the ceiling and said something kind of racist. Uh, number four, Aristotle uh, sat with his fist on his chin and thought about something for a little while. Is and then the looked right, right at me and he said, uh, I think you should kill yourself. And I said, whoa, Aristotle. That's kind of not cool. Like, I've been having some bad thoughts lately, and, like, I really didn't need that out of one of my closest friends. And Aristotle looked right at me, and it was, it was just like, I'm just philosophizing, man. I don't, I don't, I yeah. don't see why you're being so sensitive. And I'm like, I'm not, dude. It's just like, I thought, like, yeah. there's a difference between, out, like, yeah, it's like, you're, you're just kind of being a dick. Like, I, I, putting out bad vibes like, now. I yeah, who, who right the now. fuck wants to hang out with somebody that's saying shit like that, bro? And he was like, whatever, you just don't get philosophy. And then I took that and I projected yeah. it onto Kyle and I called him a fucking Philistine. And you know what? I'm not taking it back because that's what toxic people do to you. They make you I've like spent, them. I've sent formal, formal requests through via email, uh, courier, pigeon even sometimes to request for you to take that back and you still haven't done it. No, I grabbed you know, that pigeon's neck and I twisted its head 180 degrees. I love that pigeon. You killed it. I didn't kill it. It was, it was a tool to you. I broke it. Yeah. See, that's your brain the on philosophy. The only cool here is you. <laughs> Why? Because I listen to the band Tool all the time, and I like the band Tool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll 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 cope to that. I'll cop to that. Whatever. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, man. You know what? You know what other? What else is a good one? Never mind. Great album. The baby on it's uh, mad that he's on it now. I gotta tell you this story. Have I ever told you the story of the Tool cover band? No. Not, not Tool specifically, but like the main guy in Tool whose name I don't remember. Um, let me look up his name. The big Tool himself? What's his name? Uh, former uh, by vocalist... Maynard, James Keenan, guitarist Adam Jones, and drummer Danny Carey. Okay, I don't know if it... I don't remember which name it was that they said that they like... It's like Tool and then all this guy's other music that they did covers of. But Anna uh, went to college with this guy that like... Like, I told her, I was like, dude, he, he's... I don't like this he's guy. Gonna he's gonna start a Tool cover band any second. You don't yeah, want to be yeah, in the crosshairs. I warned her and you don't want to be in the... Yeah, you don't want to be... <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be in a toolbox. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and she no, there's this, this guy that she like had classes with, and and he the dude like I, I told her like this guy like totally like has the hots for you like, and it, it it's not that it like makes me like, like I don't I, I don't it's not that I don't trust her but I'm like he's creepy and I don't like him, like you know and she's like oh he's fine like whatever and I'm like all right whatever and then she's like hey. Uh, you know, so and so uh, just just told me, uh, like, invited me to see his uh, us to go like 
watch his band practice. And I'm like, I mean, I guess we could go hang out, sure. And 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 we go, and it's like this warehouse that they've rented out. And then like, he's they're like, yeah, so you know, like we we mainly do music from like Tool and like uh like this guy's other mu you know this guy's other stuff. Uh, that's like kind of what we uh. That, that, that's you know that, that's that's what our, our thing is or whatever. What's, basically. what's your what's your opinion on Tool? By the way, just just I think that's important for the context of the story. Do you like? I them? don't hate Tool. I think they're fine. Okay. I don't. I'm not really a usually, big Tool fan. Usually, it's all the way one or the other. That's why I asked. Yeah, I I, I mean they have like a, like like they have the, the the top like what is it? Uh, what is the song that Anna likes? Tool of the week. Yeah. Uh, sure. Now she likes uh, the pot and uh, schism, and those are—I think those are legitimately decent songs. I don't—I don't want to hate on them, sure, but it's—it's uh, it's just weird to me that like somebody would, especially when they're cover bands, they do this thing where they're like, "Oh yeah, we're only gonna play deep cut stuff." It's like, bro, I barely know who Tool is. I don't know any of their deep cut shit. You know, like yeah, you get like one of those per show. Yeah, and it's like so, like and they didn't like, play any of their. You're in a Tool cover band. Nobody doubts that you listen to Tool. Yeah, it's so weird. So I was just like, okay, whatever. Like, I guess we'll watch the Tool cover band. Did you like it? No, I didn't. It wasn't good. I'll say that. I feel like you were it... just biased against the guy from the start, though. And then that I guy. Think, I think uh... it was probably the best Tool cover band that's ever been. And then that guy wrote Anna a poem and left it on her desk, and she's like, okay, you're right, he is creepy. I'm like, fucking... I told you! <laughs> so... Tool's, like, still alive, too. <laughs> like... Yeah, they're still, like, running. I don't... I don't who would want to go see it? Like, I can't imagine you would pay a lot to go see Tool, you know? Like, if Tool's touring... Maybe like a sixty dollars show, eighty dollars show, not bad, you know. I have, you know, more power to them, tooling around the country. But I don't know. I just I like don't if really I wanted see... to hear Tool live, I'd go see Tool. Also, I'm level exactly. one hundred five already as this character, and I, have, I don't even. I thought my build was kind of shit. Kind of moving pretty fast. Yeah, Tool's still going. So like, yeah. what the fucks? What the fucks the point, man? I don't know. Was the poem good at least, or was it like plagiarizing no, Tool? It was, yeah, no, he wrote down the entire uh, skis, uh, uh, lyrics to Schism on a, on a uh, not Schism, one of their deep cuts. He wrote he wrote the lyrics to A Enema on a. He wrote the lyrics to. Uh, here, let me just take their Spotify real quick. You're just gonna go he, to like the bottom. And try. Yeah, yeah. He yeah he he wrote the 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 lyrics to Intention on the uh, on their. <laughs> That'll learn you. Yeah. What, I mean, he knew she was in a relationship, clearly, because she brought oh, her no, boyfriend no, to no. the fucking tool, tool no, yeah, garage. Oh, the guy's a chode, and like, the dude, the dude apparently, like, another reason she she was like, yeah, no, everybody's kind of like not talking to him because like, we 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 had a thing at somebody's house, and he like left, like like like, we tried to stop him from going in his car and driving away, and he like literally fought us off and then like drove off, and we we're like, oh. But like he, he was, he just like decided to drunk drive and like was like, okay, yeah, no, that guy's a dickhead. Sometimes like, when know. it's tool time, you gotta get home, man. Yeah. What if, when what if he had an time. idea for a tool song to cover? Yeah. Like, oh, and he shit, needed to get just, it out. I just realized, uh, I just realized how to how to cover this tool song. How, what I would do to cover this. Tool song. I don't know. I just in choices of bands, I, I feel like that is a weird. Like Tool itself is almost like a deep, deep cut kind of band, you know. Yeah, I mean, he, he was he a hipster? He seems like oh, one. totally, totally, yeah, I would say that. he didn't look like a hipster, but he was, you know. And he didn't, he wasn't dressed like a hipster. He didn't he wear the, like the hipster garb. Flannel. He wasn't he wearing wasn't like the, he didn't wear the Alex not a, not a flannel with like thick round glasses and shit like that. No, he didn't dress like a character from Harry Potter. No. And when I say that, I mean like in there, like you know, when Harry Potter walks around in like his regular day clothes, he dresses kind of like a hipster. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. What year was Harry Potter supposed to take place? Because I always thought it took 90s. place in like the fifties or something, but sometime in the nineties, I think. Oh, really? 
it's, yeah. That's weird. Yeah, because I just know the there's last no cell movie phone they're because like, they're mad they don't need cell. Phones. Yeah, the last movie they're like dressed like fucking like Hollister Crombie and Fitch models, and it's just like yeah. what, but that last movie legitimately bothers me because they have this whole thing where they're like, we have to hide from the the magicians, and it's like okay, so like. Why don't you use like Earth technology now? Why don't you? Yeah, what? You get see, like cell, like burner phones and stuff like that. I always bother you know? Anna with this fucking question, but why doesn't yeah, Harry Potter just like fucking get himself a Glock? Why doesn't he just yeah, throw yeah. the cloak over himself, walk into a fucking guns and ammo store, and like grab some fucking? Because it's like, oh, it's the most powerful spell. It kills yeah. a person. And it's like, I, d d d um, <laughs> dude. Why doesn't? It, yeah, why doesn't? Harry apparate in behind, uh, behind the the counter of like a like a military, like gun depot, and then get like a Barrett fifty cal, like like spend a few hours, or a few days, like out in in like the middle of nowhere practicing with it, and then like take it to Hogwarts and and like fucking shoot the Snake Man's head off. That's what you I know? keep saying. Like it's not like fucking Voldemort is sh like, he hits him with a fucking broom at one point. He like falls over. Yeah, because he gets him in the back of the knee, and he's like, he's like, ah, I got a bad knee. Yeah, yeah. He puts out he Harry Potter's like dropping banana peels and shit, and like Voldemort's just slipping on every single one of them. It's he should have really just weird. gotten a brick. Like he yeah. should, honestly, if you threw a brick at that fucking guy's head, I don't <laughs> think he has the reaction time to stop it. No, he and he's got that soft like baby skull skeleton like looking head. Harry like, Potter like should have learned a spell to like grow like five or six inches, so he's like a little bit bigger than him, and then just like squeezed his head really hard. Harry Potter should learn like locks and and stuff like that from fucking uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and just like choke Voldemort the fuck out. Yeah, that's what I fucking keep saying. Yeah. And, like fucking Harry Potter spells, you got to say all this fucking embarrassing shit. Like, why even do that, dude? No. Punch the guy in the face. Come on. Exactly what? Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I said. Everyone in that world is fucking silly. Yeah, exactly. I'll say it. I'll fucking I'll put my credibility on the line. Everyone in that world is a fucking silly person. Whatever silly someone voices. dies, whenever someone dies in that, I just think like you know you could have easily avoided this if you wore like if, if you had like one or like a knife on you. Yeah, you or had won. like a tactical vest or like cargo pants. And then it's like you can't even say like earthly weapons don't work because the fucking little gremlin man gets killed by a, a throwing knife. Oh yeah, he does, doesn't he? Yeah, he fucking, she fucking throws like a Modern Warfare 2 throwing knife at him and it gets him right in the gut and he dies. And there's nothing they can do to stop it. Like, they have, they're like, oh yeah, we can't heal him. It's like, then, then the bullet would, like, and he's supposed to be like a little magic man. But a magic person threw the knife, so it was a magic throw, Kyle. Do you no, know it nothing? wasn't. Do you know no, nothing about Harry Potter? No, oh didn't, my god. She didn't say any, 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 like... She didn't make any weird rhyming words. She didn't go wiggly womp this knife is in your belly or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I don't know. I can't think of anything. But she true. didn't say she that. She didn't say that. No. Yeah. She's, there, I, and, I think that there's no there's no excuse for shit like that. And she was married to fucking uh, Tim Burton at the time. She definitely had some magic words on hand. True. Yeah. You know? So. Because... As we all well know, Tim Burton is versed in the magic of cinema. Yeah. So she could have said, like... She could have said, like, fucking, uh... Dolly. Or, like, um... She could have said, like, boom mic. Yeah, and then a, and then a boom mic would have come from off screen and just bashed his yeah. head. Or some, yeah, she, sh she should have said, like, Dutch angle. Oh, no. <laughs> And then he's stuck. Every 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 scene he's in is, is shot at a Dutch angle now. Yeah, exactly. That would have been the worst curse of all. Yeah, it makes your it makes the movie nauseating to watch. You love them. You love. No, them, I don't. God. I don't love Dutch angles personally. I think that they're okay. You when You say use, you like, love sparingly. lens flare. You love Dutch angles. Oh, I don't mind lens flares. I feel like people freak the fuck out about those too much. You said you said that they were your favorite. You also said that you love yeah. uh, you love shaky cam. I I don't mind that either, I, as long as it's done tastefully. But yeah, no, I I, I don't know. I, there there's a lot of shit. I I don't like quick cuts. Those bother me in movies where people just can't let the fucking scene play out. 
well, this scene played out, and now I'm dead, yeah. and it was dramatic, no. and everybody fucking, everybody fucking cried. I um, did. But I'm bit. gonna flop off. I should make a right. point to mention this more. Uh, I put all my vods on a YouTube channel called Lyle Streams. Uh, yeah. If there's anything wrong with the audio, I fix them. And yeah, uh, yeah they're uh, it's they're all there. I've got them on on yeah. Twitch too. If you're subscribed, but if you don't want to do that, they they do have like a YouTube VOD channel that they come out on, and they're better yeah. quality because I record we're them be, live. Uh, a little bit quicker with uh, putting those out. Uh, yeah, we're we're catching up right now. Actually, yeah. um, we got and there's some good old. If you missed a few streams, there's some really good ones on there. Uh, I'd highly recommend the one where we play uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderland. That one's a mess, but it's very funny. The Risk of Rain um, one I liked a lot. The Risk, of, yeah, the Risk of Rain one's really good. Um, the Mario Party one's complete chaos if you like that. Yeah, that so, one's uh, that one's loud, but that one's yeah. that one's fun. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, enjoy the yeah. rest of your stupid day, you dumb assholes. <laughs> yeah, never watch uh, us again. Don't go to the stream channel. Yeah, we'd hate see, it if you did. Yeah, that. We, we yeah, love it yeah. Did that. I, I would, I would, I would absolutely just fucking take that back out of shame if you went and did that because I'd feel bad. But if you yeah. don't do that, then I won't and I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have to because I'm an evil character. Okay, yeah. bye. Bye, fuck you.